Welcome to GTV ANZ, the gaming channel created by Ubisoft. Every Tuesday and Friday on YouTube, we'll be doing fast plays, game challenges, 1v1 face-offs, and so much more. You happy? When did we get a dog? It's a good question. Straight face, straight face. Welcome back. Yeah, these guys just getting up to a little bit of shenanigans before we get stuck into it. Welcome to Reload here on Monday, the 27th of September. Uh, we have the, all the usual faces. Uh, Guz, who looks like he's just waking up. Xenox, who yep. almost did his hair. Uh, and Rob, who's got the, the pretty lights. And we got a pretty face as well. Oda, welcome to the Reload. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, look, it's Not been a while. Pleasure. We've been trying to uh, get you on, and you finally caved. Uh, why is that? You just feel like Bliss is finally, you know, punching and actually. Uh, could ahead. finally take time off scrims, you know. We're ahead, ahead of everyone in the season. Oh, so, you know, could, not, could, sit, could sit back, have a night off. <laughs> Well, technically you are not in first place, but I appreciate you coming on nonetheless. Uh, we got a bunch to get through tonight. Uh, if, for those who haven't come to Reload before, we do have some giveaways going on. Uh, you got to type hashtag Bruce was the problem in chat to uh, get in on this. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, That's love a good it. one. And uh, stick around. Typing it in the chat is not enough. We're going to draw three giveaways. Each is 1,200 or six credits. Uh, throughout the stream, you have to be here. If you're not here, you have a minute to say something in chat. If you're not, then you're out. Uh, so stick around for that. Stick around also for the various topics you can see down the side over there. Uh, we're going to be going through the last week of matches. Uh, we had some mixed up caster pairings, which was a bit dangerous. Yeah. Uh, I think that me and Xenox hadn't casted since uh, 2026 20, Masters when you started yep. Xenox. Mm -hmm. And Gaz and, and Rob, you hadn't casted together since 2019 six masters. Bloody hell. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a throwback. I tell you what. I, was, uh, I went back and had a look at the tournament, had a look at some of the names and the teams, and I was, whoo, I was spicy, I'll say that much. I was actually watching back some Six Masters uh, 2019 today as well to prepare some clips, oh. that, uh, a specific clip that I have for tonight, but won't, uh, oh, won't get no. into that just yet. <laughs> oh, um, no. <laughs> oh, Oda, you are the focus. One of us is going to cop it, aren't we? Oh, it's probably going to be me. No, don't you worry, guys. Oh, uh, if I was to go in on you, it would be I your pro league like season. It'd be the pro league season. <laughs> <laughs> Which we will get around to at some point. One day we got to have a section which is like the worst caster highlights, like caster lowlights. Or we need to just find the worst moments of. I have a couple because I'm the one. I'm the one who's sworn on the most broadcasts of any of us. I don't know how it's me, but it just always is. Um, but hey, Oda, look, you kind of alluded to it. Bliss, you guys are doing pretty well at the moment. Uh, Stage two is kind of where you guys seem to, to peak. You guys almost went flawless during the regular season. Playoffs wasn't quite amazing. How did you feel coming into stage three? What, what was it you were kind of looking at? Uh, I don't know, just looking to stay consistent, really. You know, we had a really good stage two, only losing to Chiefs. So I just wanted to like continue that into stage three and like stay at the top, really. Yeah. Look, it's been mostly good. You did have one loss tonight, which we'll dig deeper yeah. into, but... Um, <laughs> I, another thing that is very much topical, and I think you guys were talking about it briefly before we actually hit live, is that Bliss is the first team to actually be qualified for the APAC South relegation, so you must be pretty chuffed about that. Uh, it feels pretty good to be the, the first team in there. So now we're just waiting to see what other teams um, make it so we can start working on them and stuff. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit scared for all the other teams in there. Not trying to gas you up too much, but I feel like... I, mean, I haven't been super across like the Southeast Asia um, National Program or the South Asia National Program, but I feel like of all the teams not currently in APAC South, Bliss has got to be the most favoured. Yeah, well, we scrimmed a few of them. And, you know, I'm feeling really confident to, you know, get that top spot 
and you know, versus one of the relegated South teams to, you know, make it into South. Mm -hmm. Cheeky. Yeah, I like cool. That. I like um, the confidence. It's why we brought you on here. Half the reason. The other half is, uh, look, we tried to get all kinds of other people, but they just weren't available, so we really had to scrape the bottom <laughs> of the barrel. <laughs> but let's start doing it. <laughs> He's been asking me for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> man, don't, don't embarrass me like that, man. Not in front of all my fans. <laughs> so let's dig into uh, the week that we recently had. Uh, look, I feel like Playday 5 went pretty well. Playday 6 went pretty well. When they have a singular Playday left of OCN Stage 3, Oda, your camera is going absolutely yeah, bananas. <laughs> oh, my man. <laughs> Uh, is this the new Bliss wallpaper? Because I actually kind of vibe it. Uh, but look, Bro, while, you go, while you try and get that sorted, wipe over your camera or something, uh, we're going to go and we're going to watch back the replays from Play-Doh 5. So, there we go. That is, that is one hell of a Zach, trip. Is Zach, it coming? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't say something like that around this crowd, mate. Um, all right, let's go watch the replays and we'll be back in a sec. He's right on the other side of the drywall. Bailey tries to pre-fire it. Oh, no way! That is disgusting! Bailey 1v3! Now order with only 9 seconds left as Drex, he holds on massively. Bailey, he's already clutched up once before. Can he oh. do it again? Oh. How has he done that? That's a it's collapse a through the wall! Yeah, how proficient is Ruffle going to be on this room? Clear again, the Chiefs are not going to give up map control easy. They're going to be quite relentless. What's this from Ruffle? Are they shaping up for... Oh, yeah, change? they are. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Oh, they're going to be stopped in <laughs> their tracks. Worthy with a double kill. He could have found more, but of course, Kagan, sharp as ever. Due diligence not done. What on earth is going on? Ruffle Cops are trying to kick start. And in fact, they've just been stunted in uh, Look, can you just repeat what you just said, Oda? Because I feel like that pretty much encapsulates that last play we saw on Club. That, that, that rush was some Xenox Chop type shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Number one segment. <laughs> Look, funnily enough, Xenox, you're not actually doing the chop tonight, so there you go. No, you I don't do the chop at all this stage because, you know, I felt bad. You know, you know, like you can only chop for so long and then you kind of don't want to piss off the entire scene. I feel like we need an Oda's chop now. Just like, you also got to say it how it yours, is. Dude. Oda's <laughs> chop, hot shot on the Mav. <laughs> what's this? What's, oh, hang on, what's oh, this quickly? Oh, he's oh, on with Manic. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, what's what's wrong with that, Xenox? What's wrong with that little? Oh, you, what there, are man? you trying to do there? Like a little blue steel? Or, yeah, you know, yeah. Little... Brendan, the uh, the ESL producer, was having a good yarn with me, and I decided to give him. I blew him a kiss, and then he said, "Yeah, give me more, Daddy." And so I turned around and said, <laughs> "He didn't actually say that." Just <laughs> Mr. Brendan uh... Hill is very professional, but he did say, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." So, um, <laughs> believe it or not, aside from various director uh shenanigans we did actually have some games on uh, on this night and look oh did we yeah guys manic <laughs> you guys were on the duo uh i hope that didn't i uh, <laughs> suddenly throw out the balance of the universe because we did have <laughs> right at the start of the day this result kind of disrupt the balance Sheesh. wild card losing to overt on clubhouse we've been saying that it's their best map uh they beat elevate on it in apex out and then overt common and, and clean the floor what yeah. happened Oh man, I don't even know where to start here, guys. I think, um, I'll, I'll be honest, when I saw it go to uh, Clubhouse, I thought that Overt were barking mad. I legitimately, I thought they were so dumb going there. And boy, <laughs> how I was wrong, man. They, I know that, like, the, you know, there was discussion about their, like, a decent uh, Clubhouse team in terms of, like, OCL, but, you know, a completely different ball game in OCN, especially with a team like Wildcard on Clubhouse, where that is really their only viable map this se this entire season, 2021. I thought they were going absolutely mental. And then, I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't even know what to say, guys. It was just one of the most insane things I think I've seen from a team that we really didn't expect much from on Clubhouse to just absolutely spank Wildcard like that. I don't know, man. It's just just not their day, I guess. Yeah, I was the same when I saw the map. I was kind of scratching my head a little bit. Um, but I did sort of say maybe Overt can head into this and actually throw Wildcard off. And honestly, I think that's exactly what happened. And the, the one thing that Sawyer mentioned in the interview, which I kind of noticed in game, and when he mentioned it, it kind of all started to click. The way Wildcard are playing Clubhouse is getting... Well, I've, um, yeah, yeah mate, we're enjoying <laughs> it. I mean, keep going. I feel like um, I'm watching... The way... The way <laughs> 
<laughs> the way Wildcard are playing Clubhouse at the moment is like it's 2019 um, or 2020 with mm. Util Dump Meta. They're just playing way too behind um, and mm. it's really beginning to unravel. And one of the signs of that was on the defenses, for example, they were just playing super shield heavy, like Bedroom, they had like four or five deployable shields set up. Mm. And I remember the round vividly, Overt literally just yeah. walk in, swing wide and nullify every single position that Wildcard were playing so passively. And that was kind of just the theme of the night. They were just outgunning their opponents of wild card were, I don't know, asleep, I guess. And uh, yeah, really, it's starting to top off or begin to top off a really bad stage and a really bad season for them. A really bad year. That's, that's, that's what, that's what, season, that's what yeah. season is, you. <laughs> <laughs> Despite wild card only getting two rounds here against Overt, this was not the worst Ooh. clubhouse we saw on this night. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh God! Imagine. All right, but Imagine. I think the difference is that the next one was a bit more expected. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I hope so. Yeah. Look, I mean, we'll get into that in a second. I just want to say, Odo, you have any thoughts on this? I mean, Wildcard is a team that you've been playing for a very long time. You've been very intimately seeing their their downfall. You maybe you've seen a bit of overt as they've been rising up. Is this a result you expected? Are you as surprised as we are? Are we missing something? Uh, I was definitely surprised. Like I remember on the night, I was one in chat or oh, Overt have lost. You don't take a wild card of the club. Yeah. <laughs> Next minute, Overt just play their game how they want to play it, and they just smashed them. Really, like wild card just wasn't yeah. there. I tickled them so pink, man, and I don't mean that as a bliss joke. They literally just, I don't, I, I, I still, I still am struggling to figure out. You know, like Emo Rin, who is just one of the nuttiest players. He had a, you, you enjoyed that one, didn't you, Oda? Uh, Emo Rin, who's one of the nuttiest players in the scene, was just, you know, he had a quiet night, and I don't know, man. It just, it literally just felt like they were never going to get going. And I guess that's the, uh, that's the power of overt when they've got the opportunity to, unlike some teams, you know, go back and watch the. The VOD from the night before uh, with Wildcard on Clubhouse. I think there's, I think we do have to obviously put that into the mix is the fact that they had played that the night before. So it was a very fresh VOD for them to check. Um, but nevertheless, like that's Bruh. that's some <laughs> absolute class. <laughs> Only you poor bastard. Uh, it's actually so weird, man. It doesn't like me. No, I mean, wipe your camera down or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, look, sorry to distract from that point. Yeah, Manic. Um, look. I don't really know what more to say other than I feel like no. we've hammered down the point that Wildcard is not themselves. I think it's clearly, mm. um, you know, it's mental. It's 95% mental. It's <laughs> They're just down in the dumps uh, in their heads. It's not <laughs> like they're not capable of playing it. I mean, like, yeah, you can get nerdy and say, like, oh, they were playing it, like, in an old-fashioned style, like you said, guys. But I think, end of the day, the reason why it was a 7-2, above all else, is just because their head's not in the right place. I think Ooh. they're done. They're chalked, they're, mate. They are chalked. I think they're done. They're chalked. Um, yeah, I just don't see. I think that when I look at this roster, I look at five star players, but it's not a star team. You know, individually, they're all pretty cracked and they're all nutty. And you but look at that lineup and you're just thinking, how are these guys down the bottom? Minus hey, 14 round differential. Hey, Oda, do you want to send me a new link, right. baby? <laughs> I can see yeah, you like, yeah. trying to wipe it off. Yeah. <laughs> Just send, just send me a new link if you want, man. Uh, um, maybe try Firefox or something, Oda. This is yeah. like watching, uh, this is like Wildcard trying to you know, wipe away <laughs> yeah, their terrible to, stage. It's oh. Wildcard trying to figure out how to win. Um, <laughs> the, the thing that's really disappointing is what, <laughs> the only this win. This is the top of the week segment. The only win Wildcard have had all stage is against the team that's in second last. Yeah. Rough. Which yeah. are looking pretty abysmal as well, quite frankly. <clears throat> yeah, let's. Uh, yeah. let's that's um, the rough one, we'll say that much. Yeah, I, I was going to ask that, Ox, if you reckon this is a team of five-star players, how many stars do you give the team at this point? Out of what? Five? Uh, if, if it's five five out of five for the, the probably, players? Probably one, I think would be fair. Um, yeah, and look, honestly, they go into relegations, and I'm sure they'll play it out, etc. But, I mean, like, where to, realistically? With this squad, with this team, do you try and run it back next year? Do you try and fix things? I, I don't know. I really don't know. I'd like you know, to see them you know get what I, track, but... I remember we memed. I don't know if you... It might have been when we were in the rank stack or something, Dev, but when we memed and... Because keep in mind, Wildcard... What, getting relegated uh, from OCA, but making with playoffs APAC. and out. Imagine... I mean, this would be the <laughs> probably the craziest siege story in history. Imagine <clears throat> Wildcard in APAC South do well, finish first and qualify for the major, or even make it through the playoffs and make it to the major or whatever. And they're in a position where they're going to get relegated to. Um, could I will, be relegated I, to OCL. I, I will I mean, say, oh, right? Like, that is just cooked. 
definitely is pretty cooked. Um, they've had some pretty poor performances in Apex South as well. It's just like, you know, a good win here, like, and there, like, against Elevate, against Chiefs, really does bring it back for them. I will say, you know, we've seen teams rise from playing in relegations before, Bliss being the most obvious example. Oda, you, you were on that team at the time, right? During Relos? Yeah, I was, yeah. yeah. You, you my have, first season. Yeah, you joined the end of 2020 and you got relegated. <laughs> yeah. So you did not feel good. So you're kind of like... Oh, oh. <laughs> his, his webcam got relegated as well. <laughs> hey, right. Oda, Oda, I heard if you uh, if you stand up, twerk, and do a 360, it'll fix the, it'll fix the camera. I'm not twerking. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some dancing requests in chat. I will... I will you thought about it. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, so, moving on to the next game, uh, another clubhouse, oh. uh, a more dominant scoreline, not a scoreline I had predicted, I think everyone mm. went into this expecting Chiefs to be dominant, not expecting them to be this dominant though. Don't take Chiefs to clubhouse. Yeah. Easy as that. They had an 8 yeah. record heading here, so I don't know why yeah. Rocker went there. Honestly, and just pretty stupid. <laughs> like, if I'm just going to be brutally honest, I don't know why you're taking the best team in the league to the best map they've got. Um, there there's got to be a reason league? behind it, but I don't understand it. Especially Are they the best team in the league? They're That's back to back it. champs, so I'd, yes. Oda is here, by the way. <laughs> Third place at the moment. <clears throat> Just saying. <laughs> Xenox, you're a flog. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would love to understand the reasoning. I mean, I'm being Ooh. harsh here, obviously. Um, yeah. So I'd be happy to be enlightened by whoever wants to tell me why they went there, but it doesn't make sense. Especially, mm. there's. Ruffle aren't even in a position where they like testing their map pool or whatever. Like they need wins to make the top five. Like this is mm. do or die kind of game for them. So very interesting. And it all started off poorly. Oh, like God. they went for a rush and was it was it, was it round one? Yeah, round I think one. I actually they go for like one of the dumbest rushes I think I've ever seen in my history of watching this game, and I it just completely it, yeah. fell apart from there. Right. <laughs> like, it was just it was just cooked. Is this, this yeah, Ruffle, right here, yeah. Ruffle's clubhouse is not bad by the way it's more the fact that you're taking cheap yeah 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 100 100 yeah like what I, d I just don't understand like i think wild could have done this rush before to be honest with you so what's the idea here like i, I don't know on the well, spot well, first, and they're trying to make it, well, they, they did a ssg roam so they're trying to get to bar hatch and drop it but yeah, yeah. they didn't clearly have the drones up that told them there were still people made. in literally in bar like there was a guy uh, on stage Wade too. Kitchen as well. I'm pretty sure Worthy was in kitchen. That got it was the just top main stairs, like most default position. Yeah, this guy literally like, just at stage. Like I don't even know how Fisher got there if he dropped hatch or what. Top, but... top main is like such a safe spot to play as well because like you just you play there to just shoot drones even when you're not roaming. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, it yeah. just it didn't get much better for them. There's not really much to say about this game. It was just yeah. <laughs> uh, Thanks, mate. You want to have any thoughts on on Rufflecopter? Hey, Oda, before we. Move on. <laughs> my, my thoughts on Ruffle, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> this is a safe space. All right, well. Uh, Ruffle, Ruffle. <laughs> I mean, we can move on to your game then. Uh, look, mate. Not the best one, I'm not going to lie. Uh, not the best one. What happened here, boys? Uh, we started strong. 4-2, a Villa attacks. You know, that's beautiful for Villa, up four. And then it comes to defenses. Villa defender side of map, and I think we just played our strats wrong against Knights. We kind of let them surround site and get to like execute phase a lot instead of you know being in their phase and like stopping them. And I think that's just like well, lost us a game really. Them being able to surround site, get picks, and then execute on us really. So you you, you mentioned something there, Oda, saying Villa defender sided. I disagree. What's your thoughts on it? I, I want to go in deep, in deep here because I think you've got sites like AVG that, you know, they do all right defensively, but I feel like Stat Trophy can be pretty, you know, both sides generally can do well at. Uh, kitchen Dining as well. What, what You want to go a little bit more in deep? Considering we've seen Villa eight times this stage, I want your thoughts on this bloody map. Is, is it attacker sided this stage, Villa? No, I don't think it's... No, no, no. It's actually 50%. Like, literally oh. 41 attack wins, 44 defensive wins. And of course, we've had eight Villas, so it's... Yeah, you know, backed up pretty well. I feel like, um, oh, maybe because of the meta's changed. Like back when you had like util meta, like Villa, you could yeah. just, like util, and you know it was a defender side of it. Now it's not really util meta, so maybe that's why it's kind of turning into an attacker sided map. Because like, even with all our games we've played, we've been what four two up, four two up, five one up, mm -hmm. and that's a, and we're starting attack. So it, maybe it could be changing. But um, yeah, maybe that util meta was why it was so defender sided. When now it's just not as much. Yeah, I mean, Knights, I think, just have really good attacks on this map. We saw it on Player 6 yeah. as well in their other game. 
Maybe that's more of a question for Spruce to try and figure out how to well, win on Villa. I, I was going to ask, because Oda, you said, like, you know, you weren't playing your strats right. Um, you know, if you've got weaknesses in the strats, usually we do attribute that to the coach. Are you telling me maybe poss that it's possible that hashtag Spruce was the problem? Ah, oh, Spruce isn't the problem, boys. <laughs> Come on, mate! Oh, oh, I can't, oh, I can't, can't do it dirty. I Rip can't do him. You, you are he's going the, to buy it. One of these not days. The problem. To be he fair... <laughs> to be fair, I'll back up Spruce here. If Bliss win against Order in Play Day 7, they're going to have the exact same record as Stage 2. And maybe even with a better round differential. So same point. what you're telling me is bringing on a coach has done nada. Absolutely well, nothing. Bliss, <laughs> it hasn't no, necessarily improved them, but... <laughs> That's what made we the worst. You've been but you lost to Actually, no. Nights, mate. I'll, go one, I'll, go, I'll go into this to maybe one continue forward, to help Spruce back. out here. Because I, I do like Spruce and I do like Oda. Uh, and I love Bliss. Yeah. One thing I've noticed this stage, Oda, is that we are seeing obviously a lot more Villa overall. Specifically from you guys as well. On top of that, a little bit more Chalet. Yeah. Interestingly enough, you didn't play either map in stage two. Is this just a part and process of expanding that map for, you know, when it really is time to, to play? Playoffs? Yeah, of course it is. It's, it's pretty much just us wanting to play more maps and being comfortable. So when it comes to game day, we've already played them before. It's not like it comes to a best of five and we've never touched it. Mm. Like, which what we've seen in stage two. But we mm. played, it was like, what, Cafe Oregon? Yeah, pretty much. And, and Consulate. Then, but that's yeah, gone. And that's gone. Mm. So we yeah. had to, yeah, we had to add more maps to our map pool to be more confident and not go in blind to those best of fives, really. Oh, so like, now, realistically, sorry to cut you off there, bud, no, but realistically now. You got. Hey, bud. <laughs> Oh, Real <laughs> Realistically, you got Cafe, you got Oregon, you got Chalet, you got Villa. I mean, you're starting to see here, you got yourself probably a better map pool than you did just probably last stage. Coach. Oh, 100%. We have a better map pool this stage. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There you still go, Coastland Bruce. and Bank are still out there. Bruce was not the problem. That's right. Chiefs are still going to win playoffs, so don't get I was going to say, if you, if you end up playing against Chiefs, like, they've still got Coastline and, and Bank, so... Yeah, they've got bank. They don't have it's to. It's going to be heavy oh, veto cool. dependent, I feel. You're going to have to make sure what you get that What if we've been veto. working on bank, guys? Ooh. 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 I like how you didn't say that about Coastline. Go <laughs> the final play day, mate. You wouldn't. Final play day? I don't reckon yeah. order would take us to it. That's the thing. Yeah, they probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they hey, ban it. They ban it more than They've got enough issues at the moment. <laughs> we, got, we got a question from Nuttery. Uh, Oda thoughts on not getting MVP. Well, I think it's pretty clear why you didn't get MVP in this game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look, I mean, you just play through one player. The next play day, I know. We'll, we'll get we'll get we'll to get, that one, Nuttery. Exactly. Wait, you could have done worse. Repix didn't get a kill after round two in this game. <laughs> how many rounds got played? Th like yeah. twelve rounds. Yeah. <laughs> like Ten rounds. Yeah. He didn't get a kill. That would have sucked. Yeah. No. He. he uh, how many break. multi kills did Jigsaw yeah. get? Four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, does, arm, does but... he get does he get paid in like back massage coupons or something from maybe he gets paid maybe he gets Aaron paid per team. kill maybe that's the clause in his contract paid oh, per kill. can't tell you what we pay him <laughs> i give him something special there's one thing we never said i know why i know why spruce is on the roster <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one thing we never said is this game did not have a happy ending uh, oh, but oh, moving oh, on to the next geez. rhythm order and order broke their six match losing streak Jeez. in stage three uh, be between apex south and, and ocn to finally beat you know stage rhythm. two's worst team by far but rhythm has been formidable in stage three so i feel like order can be pretty happy with this is this mainly bailey can be yeah, pretty happy with yeah. this <laughs> Take take two Bailey clutches away and it's six five and I think Rhythm close out honestly. Uh, you literally you take Bailey's clutches away and I think Rhythm look the better team. But that's just me. It, you know one of the common tropes in sports, uh, Manic, is how the the you know the score doesn't quite tell the story. Would yeah. you agree that in this case that it does not tell the story? <sighs> look look okay here we go. I do think that it tells a story to an extent. I think that Order were looking pretty, like, decent enough to be uh, competitive. However, I really think, like, a 3v1 and a 2v1, if like, if you just wipe those away, I, I don't think that Order can bring that back in, in complete honesty. I think that that's rhythm running away with the map. But, you know, when Bailey's shoulders are as wide as that and he's as handsome as he is, I really just... Uh, 
Like, well, I mean, you, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's like it's kind of like a you know, it's a question of like LeBron leaves uh, the what was it, the Cavs, and and went to uh, Lakers, and then went and won another championship. Like, a, one player can completely determine an, an entire game. So, I have no problem with Bailey clutching up like that. But I do say that their first win to break <clears> the <throat> the terrible track record that they had coming into this, yeah, it, it definitely lent into a couple of big plays from Bailey. I, I think the biggest thing. I was a bit shocked when I saw the scoreline. Of course, I was working elsewhere and um, what? What? Working elsewhere. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was you don't working. Have, I'm <clears throat> asleep. You mean? I was working on another Ubisoft title. Um, I think it was like <laughs> Rainbow Six something. But anyway, look, it was a little bit of a surprise, which says a lot about where sort of both teams are at and we're at coming into this game. Rhythm were heavy favorites. Everyone predicted Rhythm to win it. Um, they would have, you know, locked up a whole bunch of things. Uh, but it does say a lot, of, a lot about order as well that, you know, mentally they didn't quite give up on it before it even happened. They fought, they won, kept their season alive. Obviously yeah. now Witch is over, but, um, <laughs> you know, it is what it is, really. I think it's just been such a bizarre stage from yeah. order's side of things, really. What um, is going on? Like, what really, what is going on? Especially when you think about the interview we had with Spruce after South eight, played A1. Spec that was... Um, Spruce. Spruce. The Spruce. other Spruce. Sorry, beautiful um, man who interviews. I was, well. I was reading. I was reading. Everyone agree that Spruce really is the problem. But uh, Specker, you know, like that was that was such a promising interview. That was such yeah. a promising moment. Yeah. Like, I think all of us came away from Play Day One being like, "Oh shit, there's They're a common. lot that's gonna go." Do. Yeah, like I was like, "This is what we need." And then it just. I mean, <laughs> I think now that we've had <laughs> now that we've had a little bit more time to see the guys that they beat in Play Day One of Apex South was Dire Wolves, right? Now we've had a little bit more time to see Dire Wolves. Maybe that win's not looking so good anymore. Yeah, mm. yeah Dire Wolves are. Unfortunately, mm. Dire Wolves have gone a bit down. It's a lesson, I think, to uh, you know, not get ahead of ourselves too quickly off yes. one result. Yeah. By the way, uh, Oda, just for you know, just for you who probably don't know this, uh, Dire Wolves are a team in Apex South, which is like you know, so that's a league which like, is like not just us. It's... Oh, okay. Yeah, if it's like if, you, if you're good enough ones. one day, you might be able to play. <laughs> What's Apex South? <laughs> Uh, when See, you get, this is yeah, the attitude worry, I like, Oda. OCN's the only next, product that matters. Next year. <laughs> next year. OCN's more and important then, anyway. And then next year, Oda, you'll be playing only Apex South because OCN will just be scrims for you. Uh, <laughs> is that when we just start throwing like knives yeah. and stuff? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, guys? I think it's actually a, a great chance to go and talk about our Playdate MVP, which is uh, this man, up. Bailey. <laughs> Yeah. He stole it from you, oh, Oda. Yeah. What was that? He stole it. From... Wait, no, this was Play Five, so he didn't steal it from you. That's fine. Nah, he didn't no. steal it. Oda, is that like Oda, a? Is, is it like a um, <laughs> GoPro on or something? It, no, it's legit. Know. Just his, so webcam, his webcam wired and everything. So it didn't because, like, I've got a webcam here, which I think is like the same model, right? And it's like got this little clamp. So I think he's just kind of put that clamp like around his, uh, like headset, and it's just sitting yeah, there. All right. And then he had his webcam on his laptop, so like he could yeah. still see. You can still him. see him. It's quite the elaborate setup. Yeah, it looks, I rate it. It looks yeah. so janky, but so amazing. I actually <laughs> love it. But um, yeah, Bailey played really well, as you guys mentioned. His clutch ability was next level. Um, I, I will say, Rhythm have had issues with closing out rounds a lot. Um, I just think they're really one-dimensional sometimes with their executes, which doesn't help them, but. I mean, you can't fault Bailey. He was really uh, cool, calm, and collected inside the server. And he was also doing a lot of initiation on the attack um, with Finker in particular. So, yeah, full props to Bailey. Played incredibly well and uh, definitely got some bonus points for the meme factor, which was pretty cool. <laughs> how do you clutch like that whilst memeing? I don't I don't get that. Like, how did that... I don't understand how He's literally got you a... knowingly have a webcam on your head. Like... <laughs> Like that it's thing just that is good. bulky, it's janky, like yeah. it could fall off at any yeah. moment. It's got a wire he's got a wire running to the top of his head. <laughs> it's got a wire. Uh, I, so here's a question for you, right? Obviously, like if he style, Jaden, old mate, you know, God bless his soul now retired. He's um he was like <laughs> <R. B>. one, <laughs> he was one, one of the uh like, you know, the greats of O Siege, you know, statistically, I think in Apex South, in, in was it, when was it he retired? Was it like backstage, uh, stage, stage one? one? Stage one, um, after stage he, one. He was like the top player in, in Apex South, wasn't he? Like up there with like Hysterics yeah. from Singapore. Yeah, and that's like insane to think, right? 
I feel like Beatty, ba Bailey, has Bailey. <laughs> Bailey has the same like impressive capability as Style did, but Style. like didn't have the inconsistencies that Ippy did. Like he's just better. Ippy. How many names he's wrong? Jaden. He knows. He knows them Hubby? personally, mate. He knows. All oh, right. You know, Jaden. Yeah, Dev, yeah, Dev right. knows everyone. Yeah, yeah. He but just I, knows. Oh, play along with me here, boys. Play along with me here. You know, do you reckon Bailey is better than than uh, even style level was? More consistent. Don't know. Yeah, I'd agree with with Gus. Depends what you're definitely. And he's had. He is. has had two MVPs. Only two players have had two MVPs. It's him and Worthy. I think consistency I think... is the, one of the most important metrics, especially mm -hmm. best of ones. Teams are showing at every single stage that they just cannot be consistent outside of a couple. Bliss probably being one of the Jigsaw. teams that have been pretty consistent. Oh. Um, I think he's also a more versatile player as well. <laughs> yeah, he's... Yeah. Let's be honest, Ibi Star was great, but he was also a bit of a one-dimensional, like, Ash Yeager main, so... How about, how about we Bailey's shut up that. with our third eye opinion and give someone who might actually know a thing or two about what Sorry. it takes to be a player like that? Oda, please. <laughs> please take the floor and tell us what you think. I reckon Bailey's more flexible with ops and stuff. If he was kind of just like Zof, Ash, Yeager main, he would just love to hit a crouch walk. He would go huge <laughs> and, like, win rounds and stuff, but he was like... Yeah. It was only good for a crouch walk on attack, and then like <laughs> oh, on his on his roams he'd pop off. But like, I feel like all around player, I think Bailey's better. And Jeez, look, what am I going to say about you when you retire, mate? <laughs> <laughs> just I'll just sitting on a window it. with Nomad the whole round, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and look, it'd be... two, I'll take it. <laughs> hey, I swear he went. I swear one game on like Chalet, he was like twelve and one on Nomad or something. Literally just sitting <laughs> on windows catching people rotate. Right <laughs> so good. I mean, that's that's how you want it to be, right? Don't take any gunfights. Yeah, exactly. Catch him slipping. Um, look, uh, Ippy Style never put his webcam or taped to the ceiling or taped to his forehead, and I mean, that's that's all that matters to me, man. Bailey is just next level. I love that. Too. That's why we love him. Ah, uh, yeah. So look, that was play day five, uh, and mm -hmm. by this point, we had a pretty strong idea of of how the rest of stage three was going to look, but it wasn't all locked in. And so Playday 6 was, I know, going into it, you and me, Zanks were casting. We kind of prefaced the day with like, okay, this is where we start to see the final steps, the final pieces fall into place. We're probably going to get an idea of all the playoffs teams, even the relegation teams. So let's watch the replays from Playday 6, and then we'll dive in. Really feeling the pressure now. Four elements that they come oh. through then. And the cutoff from Winnables. Oh. He's going huge for Rufflecopter. Uh, let's just win two fights. No, they're and not supposed to win three fights. What? And no. they're gone. See you later, Wildcard. <laughs> oh, what? It's Emo versus Five. Getting his smokes. He has time on his side. Ethan, surely a dead man. What? Oh, what is that shot? And now Chiefs can maybe do this. Fish has enough gas to completely choke up the brick's door. Time as well is not on the side anymore of Rhythm. We are into red time, but Drex, who's had an amazing game on the sledge. 12, six and one, two versus one. Now the bodyguard of Leb, the swing for Fish, who guys denied Rhythm. Look, Xenox, oh, so oh, nice to see a rare play-by-play -play -play <laughs> moment from you. Nice that you took the mic oh, geez, off me. Mate. Appreciate oh, you helping There out. wasn't much hype there, though. You just look, I, I agree with Guz. I don't think there was enough energy there and, and clearly shows the casters just don't care. Pretty much. I mean, you I look at agree. our faces. We're just half asleep, man. Yeah. Nah, look, it was a good night overall, wasn't it? I think we had a little bit of everything. <laughs> some, <laughs> some teams that obviously we expected to win. And then there were some upsets, most notably Rhythm over Chiefs. But yeah, I think this was a night that I, I enjoyed. I'll cherish forever getting to cast with, um, what was it now? Two, three time SI caster, Devmata. Thank you. <laughs> yep, thank you. <laughs> I will say I love the uh, oh, shout out to um, Isaac, who's our replay operator. He puts all these together. He does the zooming in on the cams, all that. <laughs> He's so good. Uh, but yeah, let's start going through uh, these games. So first one of the night was uh, Order Knights. And <laughs> we had a fleeting moment where Order looked all right again. And then they played this game. <laughs> <laughs> that right again. All right, so what's interesting about this, the two rounds they won was Stat Trophy, and it was all about the Vert, and they basically just pushed Knights off site, won those two rounds, and lost everything else. And then in the sixth round, so the first half to close out, they went back to Stat Trophy, and this time, lo and behold, Knights get on the Maestro. They put two down below, 
uh, and then that's it. The game's over because Order can't suddenly just push them off. That was it. There was a, I can't I'd suggested. Was there, was there a bunch of flawless rounds this game? Because what I'm seeing here is that every order player went negative, which is actually quite rare, especially like a 7-3 is not super dominant. So a bit unusual mm -hmm. there. Um, and the biggest distinction between this and Play Day 5 is that Bailey didn't hard carry. Uh, I mean, like, you can't blame him, right? Like, you cannot, if, if you're expected that to just, like, get two clutches per game every single match, then you're probably in the wrong league. Age plus seven opening kills? What? Yeah, but only yeah. a 2.6 play rating. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's trash. Yeah, they should really get onto that. Right. <laughs> oh, they got plus seven on entry. Yeah, you got seven opening <laughs> kills. Didn't didn't get an opening death once. Oh, it doesn't matter though, really. Let's be let's be honest. By yeah, any other metric, two point six would be an two, unbelievable. Two multi kills rate. as well. Fifteen and five. Nah, nah. So I think that's the, the reason, reason why, why you didn't win MVP. I mean, right he now. got he got a good rating. Um, two point six is a very good rating, but like the Four the signi <laughs> well the sig <laughs> the significance <laughs> of your rating above like two point five. It does like there's actually not that much difference between like a two point five and a four point whatever you Oda got. It's because it's what? KD. It, oh, it's heavily KD weighted. So like this is no, only that a. Doesn't sound right. This is a three point KD, right? Whereas be like Oda, you got like a seven point KD or something like that, didn't you? <laughs> Fourteen and two or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's heavily KD favored, which is why the yeah, rating just, gets so know, inflated. Fourteen and two. But, look, I appreciate Xenox, I appreciate you trying to throw me under the bus again. Like good effort, didn't quite work, but you I'm tried. not. How am I throwing you under the bus? <laughs> because for some reason you're blaming all the stats on on me. <laughs> But also, just because it's not me, just because you're throwing production under the bus doesn't make it any better, mate. So. <laughs> well, just bringing, uh, you know, a little bit of light to very, the issue. Very insightful, man. Very insightful. Thank you, Spruce. See, I got supporters in my corner. Oh, God. You, 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 got, you, got, you got one. <laughs> what do you mean I don't want Spruce in my you got, corner? You got Spruce, hey, which is a, he's Bruce about, is a lot. negative Spruce one. Spruce is about to be the, the head coach of OCN Champions and then soon to be a team with Apex South. <laughs> oh, You've just on, double baby. jinxed them, man. Really you're really trying to get yourself some merch, aren't you? Or you're trying to get yourself that reward. That, yeah, uh, I mean, if, you, if, if Edge is in there, if Edge is watching, you know, come on, hit me up, buddy. Come on. You're I'll let him know. Me. I'll DM him myself. Yeah. If anyone DM wants to actually, boys, to, like, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, Mate, Spruce, you... you know what? That's it. Puss <laughs> down. <laughs> what? Now they're gonna win. No, now they're gonna win. That's a good thing, Oda. That's what you want, mate. You do not is actually. Want is it actually Edge's birthday you. today? You don't want Xenox There's no on way your it's Edge's birthday ever. Literally, think think about all the You're greats in the past. Burn. Guys, think about the past. Geo crashed and burned. Wildcard crashed and burned. <laughs> Bliss made it into playoffs for stage two. Crashed, crashed and, burned, and burned, mate. You don't I, want I, to I be. Did put all, I did put my eggs in the in the Bliss basket, and they did let so me down heavy. in the playoffs. But, so heavy. You, know. you you went all in for the Bliss boys. <laughs> that was like you had hey, you had the whole home on the went, back of that. They were one up. One nil up in the grand final. I'm like, here we go. Like, I think <laughs> I think I finally found a word. I for was you, thinking Zenos. the same thing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> One nil up. Here we go, One please. <laughs> and then just downhill. <laughs> uh, 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 downhill as Bruce's playing career. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be any worse than his own, like, though, so that's feel like he's, he's been to more siege lands than you, though, I'd say. <laughs> How many have you been to, guys? <laughs> well, the same as you. None. Oh, I've attended a couple. I actually attended the... Oh, well, so I've attended them, too. I haven't casted you, them. How many of you attended, Gus? i there. One. And how many of you attended Zena? Two. Yeah, wow. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go. <sighs> uh, I think I found, right. I found a word for you, Zenox. It's called bandwagoner you are the yeah. ultimate bandwagoner yeah. well no i'm still on the bliss train here for stage three yeah, i think it's it's, they're still that's favorite that's they're thing. still the bandwagon because <laughs> you never got off man like <laughs> all right let's move forward to what Chiefs was the best match of the night yeah please please what Alex. a mad man Take well i mean i'll give this one to guz he, he, let guz talk come Just on I'm under the bus. The grand, i was watching the grand oh final. you were watching I, the how, how did that go for you guys yeah uh, Shut up, up the doggies. Damn <laughs> the doggies. How did Chase lose? Someone told me because I have no idea. They just had um, no respect. The ego peaked. Yeah. Ego peaked. Rhythm. Rhythm just shut him down. Yeah. Drex had an amazing yeah. night. He, um, he just held down pop, pop. right click and watched the Chiefs peak them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he played well, yeah, but they fed him. I think you said it best, Oda. Minus three. Holy moly. Sorry to interrupt there, Dev. Go. 
That was it. A lot of opening deaths on Lordy because he was just running around um, and they cut him off. Yeah. Yeah. Digital and Fisho on top. <laughs> That's when you know things are. That is concerning. I mean, <laughs> it's really dire. That's when you know things are going downhill. You know what, Oda? Did if I ever if I start seeing you in. consistently at the top for the for, uh, for bliss, I know there's something going wrong. We're in trouble when that happens. No, I was really like, worried. Getting... I was worried about that Rufflecopter game. When, you, when you're when you on the top of the scoreboard, it's a uh, great yeah. concern. <laughs> Not good signs, mate. Not good I was on the bottom against Ruffle. I think I dropped Wait, like which... four kills. Oh, it was game. Rhythm. It was oh, Rhythm. We're good then. I'm we're good then. The Chalet one. We're the one where you popped. Oh, yeah, Rhythm. Yeah, I was top. Yeah. Top Chalet. Chalet's my map, you know. Maybe oh. Rhythm just support players play well against Rhythm. Maybe that's the, <laughs> that's the trend we're seeing here. It's Ditch up on top. Um, yeah, look, I think with Chiefs here, you can put this... I mean, from an outside perspective, you can mostly put this down to just a lack of respect, a bit of complacency. I hate to throw... Like, back in the day when we would throw away that... Uh, throw around that word when it came to fanatic. They did not mm. like us using that word very much. And no. Dizzle, you made it very clear that he didn't like us <laughs> saying that. But I I think you just got to be honest. Numb flashbacks or something? I am. He was like, damn. Are you using the word in what... <laughs> You're hurting what, our what? feelings, saying that Wait. we're complacent. But I think, like, even uh. Knights admitted it recently yeah. when... Uh, like when they started having a bit of a lull, Knights admitted that they yeah. got a bit comfortable. Um, I think mm. that's what happened with Chiefs here. I think they didn't respect yeah. Rhythm enough. And Rhythm are right now very hungry because they have a high chance of making playoffs and are guaranteed yep. not to be in relegation. So they're riding a high at the moment. Chiefs didn't mm. appreciate that. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, on, on that topic, it's actually something I've been thinking about quite a lot for Stage 3 because we've seen... Uh, Knights, you know, become very complacent in stage two and even toward the start of stage one. I mean, they got 7 1 by Chiefs. And, like, to see them over the past three play days, like, seriously come back with a, a bite. Like, look, they're not doing anything crazy by any means, not from what I've seen. They're not, like, throwing incredible strats um, out the window. Oh, sorry, rather, throwing incredible strats at players or anything like that. But I just feel like they've started really uh, tightening up. Like you said, Dev, you know, they were complacent at the start of this season, uh, start of this stage even. And I worried about it for Chiefs, but coming into play day five, they absolutely slapped Roffle. And I was kind of, I'm not going to lie, I was excited. I was like, this is the Chiefs that yeah. I want to see heading into the end of. Yeah? Excited? They're fucking excited. I was so excited. Oh, well, I was. No, seriously. Like, the boys the boys can do some serious damage, but, like, to come into Play Day 6, I didn't watch the whole of the game against Rhythm, but that is really disappointing. Like, there's just, there's no way to put it. Like, that's just, that's they, the opposite of what we want to see. They could have been first. They could have definitely could, you been could, first. You could put it some way if you had the vocab as a good play-by-play, -play, but... Who, me or Dev? Like, you could, oh, no. find the, you could find the words to describe it if you're any good. I'm sure Xenox could... I think I he's think a, at the end of the day, Rhythm had a little SI bit more on the line than than Chiefs, right? Um, yeah, but that's the and point. Yeah, maybe that's Chiefs are just cruising and aiming for that's that the point second of complacency. Spot. I think I think Chiefs are aiming for second because historically in OCN and OCN, they need the warm up before Bliss. Maybe. Yeah, you need you need. I mean, it's not going to be Bliss in first, mate. Come on. It could be, right? Or well, you never know. Rhythm versus Knights next week. Rhythm Ooh. Knights, mate. I'm calling it. Rhythm win that. That's a big one. You reckon yeah. Rhythm win that? Uh, I'll predict them. Fuck it. If, well, if Chiefs, Bliss, and Knights all win this week, then it's going to be Knights on top, Bliss in second, and Chiefs in third. Which Odor is probably the best result for you guys because it's that that trend of whoever seeds into the semis in second they seed. Can always win the grand final. It's it. So there you go. That's, that's what we're what aiming you... for. That's, that's why we lost the Knights. What do you mean? <laughs> Strategic. <laughs> I forget uh, how to untime out someone. Someone got untime out Spruce. I forgot how to do it. I take no responsibility for. I'm, I might have to remove your mod. There you go. At least we got cars being sensible. All right. Next game. I don't have the uh, the match stats for, but I do have one better. I Whoa. Have what is this monstrosity? This is the oh, Dev Mata match tracker right here. So Whoa. This is. Are we allowed to show this public? Is this like. Whoa, this is. Yeah. The, yeah here you go, guys. Um. Screenshot behind the scenes. Them. You can see the uh, the, all the ops and the team comps and whatever. But yeah, so look, I mean, it doesn't show player stats really, but you can get the vibe of like where you know hundred percent opening pick into round win. Yeah, hundred percent conversion. Yeah, that's close game. Very back and forth though, Xenox, Right, like you know, mm. every every now and then a team would win two rounds in a row, but there was I... never any more than a two round lead. 
I came away from this actually a little bit perplexed as to how Avert didn't win it because they came out of the blocks and you can see it on the wonderful match tracker here. They won the first two rounds and I'm thinking, here we go, Avert's just going to win this one. But then Ruffle fought back and then that's when it went to that back and forth. But I think around the point when Ruffle got the final round of the first half and then the first round of the second half, you could feel the momentum shifting off the back of that and then Avert were kind of playing catch up, which they did. They won a couple of rounds there, but then... Um, the biggest difference, I think, was Ruffle's ability to close out late in rounds. I think there was maybe two or three rounds that Avert, <laughs> maybe probably two, two rounds that Avert probably should have won but didn't, um, and therefore Ruffle were able to capitalize. But it, this was our, what, match of the day, and it definitely lived up to that uh, for all intents and purposes. And both teams were on basically the same sort of level, and... I think either team could have walked away 7-5 winners on a different night. You know, you flip a, a coin and that night Avert wins. It also... Avert had a lot to play for, but Ruffle literally needed to win. Like, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts. If they had lost this game, they were out of playoffs, right? By winning this game, now they've got to beat Wildcard and hope other results, of course, go their way, which... Surprisingly enough, actually, I think Ruffle's got the best chances of getting into the playoffs now because... Um, Avert's playing Chiefs and Rhythm's playing Knights. Ruffle playing Wildcard. I think you can take your guess out of the three who's the likely to win those ones. Um, yeah. If that does take place, Avert would actually be the team to drop out. So the fairy tale would maybe come crashing down a little uh, at the last hurdle, which would be unfortunate. But they had their opportunity here. Um, they were good. Ruffle were just a little bit better. Yeah, I think that the implications of this game, like you said, pretty significant for playoffs, but even for uh, for the relegations, I think. Like, if had had Overt won this, it would have been much easier to achieve what they need to achieve to mm. not get in relegations, which is they have to win Stage 3. <laughs> they have to yeah. win the whole thing. They have to get into playoffs and then win the grand final. Go all like, the there was a round defensively for Avert where um, someone tricked the jacuzzi wall and it just never got opened yeah. on gym bedroom. They and still lost they it. lost that. Yeah. So this was, was the last round. Uh, yeah, well, I think it might have been the last one. Yeah. The other one, so, for, the other one you for think me they was the should be um, winning that right nine times out of ten and didn't. Well, round nine was also very winnable for Overt. That was uh, hmm. a very close round, which Overt were favoured up until the last moment. Hot shot makes it a one v one and plants oh, yeah. five seconds of planting, yep. and Sawyer was just so so careful. Like he was playing really playing uh scared uh and like it was like one guy planting <coughs> hotshot planting it's 1v1 hotshot's planting in gym. in gym sawyer falls all the way back from master into con and he's playing so passive and he has no ammo in his primary the smg he's got just the bailiff and like as soon as it hits zero he like sprints to try and deny plant but all he's got is the bailiff and so he can't really follow through with the peak because you know, it's absolutely atrocious weapon uh, and then, like, it was a pose plant and Hotshot drops below and, like, oh. There were so many ways in which Sawyer could have won that. It's not like it was a bad play from him, but it certainly had me thinking he was going to win it. Mm. And that was another turning point. Like, had Roffel won that round, uh, they would have then taken match point in the following round when they won their church defense. Yeah, and that's sort of what I was saying Um a good two, three rounds of Vert probably should have won that they didn't. Whereas I don't think Ruffle really had anything like that. There weren't really any rounds that Ruffle threw away where, oh, how did Ruffle lose that round? Like that didn't really happen for them. For a Vert, it kind of did. So take of it as you will. In a, in a very close game, that 7-5 goes down to the 12th round. If you're the team that has, say, two of those rounds that you probably should have won, you're sitting back thinking they should have probably got the three points. But... I still don't walk away with that feeling that Avert deserved to win. I still think actually Ruffle deserved to win this game because they were actually playing very well. I think if anything, maybe OT would have been a better um, better position for both of these two teams, which I think... Um, I don't know how much that would have made a difference if Avert did get the one point. I don't know what that would have done for them realistically. Much, I don't honestly. think it would have... Yeah, I don't think it would have done anything. Mm. They would have needed to win OT. Well, the other thing is that the head to head's pretty impactful because like if Overt does end up getting a whole bunch of points um, in re like f just for the overall season standings to try and avoid relegation, then head to head I believe is taken into account to tie break that. So if both these teams ended up on let's say twenty five points at the end of stay uh, at the end of the season, 
and it mm. was like who's going into relegations uh whoever's got the head-to-head -head would i i believe go through so uh now ruffle copter have won that which puts over in a tricky position it's actually well i, I don't impossible. think the head-to-head -head matters because if avert had won this game ruffle weren't going to make playoffs yeah but i'm talking uh, like season standings for relegation Ah, uh, right. Yeah. I don't think that would have made a difference anyway. I'm pretty sure at the moment Rufflecopter should be around 25. Mm. So... Oh no, actually, what I is believe they What is interesting now, though... Two. Yeah, no, no, never mind. Is Avert must win and get all three points against Chiefs if they're to stay above a Ruffle win uh, against Wildcard. So even an OT win because they lost this, they, they don't mm. have the head-to-head, -head, um, won't be enough. So they've, they've got a big task next week. Um, against the Chiefs, which have never lost two in a row in OCN. It's never happened all year. Ooh, that's a good one. Fun fact. Fun yeah. fact with Xenhawks. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Thanks, and Jake. The man who was robbed his uh, his MVP. Robbed over here. Uh, so 4.7? 4.76 it is. So yeah, I mean, Rob you may as well round geez. that to 4.8. How do you not get MVP, right? guys? What were you doing? Where's you the multi-kills, though? Does it, does it count when you're you guys playing watching? against wildcard? Oh, oh, of course it counts. So what happened? Give, give me the that TLDR of this game, over. Give me the TLDR of this game. Uh, I think, I mean, Chalet, Taka sided. We pretty much just played to our game, really. Just our defaults and stuff. And they just worked. I mean, the stream missed half my kills, but it's legit just me either holding flank or just peeking into an angle, really. It was nothing, nothing flash, nothing special. Jig had a pretty good game as well. All around, we just stuck to our game plan, really, and just, you know, won round by round. And then, yeah, 7-2 win over the wild card. I think that's what makes Bliss so so successful, though, as a team, right, is that anyone on that team can pop off and, and be in Oda's position there with a 13-2. Like, if it's Todd, if it's Shade, if it's Repix, if it's Jigsaw, I don't think anyone would be like, oh, my God, how are they in that position? And I think we've probably seen by now at least all of them with a similar sort of stat line. Obviously, Shade and Todd's going to be your more support players. They're probably not going to have it as often, but we've seen them do it, and we've seen them have impact plays as well. This was a bit of a nothing game, though. Unfortunately, Wildcard, even though Wildcard still had playoffs on the line coming into this game and had actually something to really fight for, mm. I mean, it was literally 4-0, and it was the one most one-sided game I've seen in a long while, and it really was... It felt like Vinny and Emo trying to do as much as possible as they could. Like, I feel like Vinny was almost exhausted trying to um, find kills and find avenues, but not, just nothing was working. Yeah. Bit of a game of team deathmatch, which is why I think that that flank watcher really helped out. You just yeah. didn't fed kills. Um, Dev Marta, fun fact. Uh, the only players on Bliss who haven't got MVPs yet are Todd, which is to be expected, obviously. Backline support player. And Repix. The other three have had MVPs so far. Does that see. mean Repix is getting dropped before APAC Bellows? Or? <laughs> Definitely. I don't think you can make roster changes between them. Yeah, even, though right. Right. even though he wouldn't. Even though he wouldn't. Oh, he's looked at the rule book. <laughs> no, they've doubled, they've yeah, doubled they had that. Oh, Repix is out, Repix. <laughs> so, wait, so when you make APAC South, you'll drop him. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I'd never drop Repix. <laughs> <laughs> he's too good looking. No, maybe they'll bring Spruce back in. Maybe that was the long game. Oh, no. That was the long oh, game. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> right now. They so, disguised it as a coach. Spruce in. Repix got MVP yeah. in stage one. Uh, there you go. That's that's something. We'll take that. So just Todd then. Poor Todd. Uh, okay. So look, Oda was robbed is is trending in, uh, in chat. But I mean, the real MVP, which I think was well-deserved, was uh, this man right here. Seven opening yes. kills. Um, this was in a closer game. Like, this wasn't Knights as a whole just destroying order. And, like, yeah, they were clearly a better team. But, like, the impact individual that Sage had was mm. very... Like, like, so many good players. This nade was sick. I actually loved that. And, oh, uh, this shot here? Yeah. Ooh, the one yeah, that was naughty. Thing. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you can't yeah. give it to anyone else. Yeah, he, well, I mean, as soon as that game finished, we were like, yep, Sage, MVP, let's call it a day. And then, obviously, at the end of the night, Oda decides to, to go ham. No, I'll give it to him. Plus seven on entries, that's that's big. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, every day you see that. I feel like we don't really see very often over plus three. Like, 
Over plus yeah. three, and you're like, geez, that's that's yeah. large. Going <laughs> seven's absolutely bloody ridiculous. Also, this was a ten round game, so that's seventy percent of rounds. Sage got the opening <laughs> kill. Yes. Not not that's that Knights got the opening kill, but Sage got the. I think he was the only one on the team to get an opening kill. In fact, so crazy. Yeah. Uh, well deserved. Uh, I will be doing an MVP interview with him tomorrow, which will be out. Should be out Thursday. I'm doing with Bailey as well, which should be out on Wednesday. Bizzle. Yeah. Bizzle. Uh, so next uh, up on the agenda is uh, Gaz, uh, your segment. But I think before we get into that, we might do our first giveaway of the night. So if you're in chat on Twitch TV slash Rainbow Six Z and you want to get around some R6 credits, maybe you want to get Osa, maybe you want to buy some of those beautiful new R6 share skins that have dropped in the store, like the Bliss. Oh, wait, no, not the Bliss one. Uh, the Chiefs one or the Knights one <laughs> or the Order one Don't or the dirty. Wild Card one. Yeah, sorry, mate. Maybe <laughs> next year. Um... Then, hashtag Spruce was the problem in chat. I'm going to draw that. Yep. Rolling it Everyone now. Start, it, start dancing it. Spruce well, was the problem. No way. No way. He literally no just wrote it in the thing. chat, and then it was him straight away. There's no way. How does that... Dev, how did we also give everyone time to do that then? I'll tell you what. Well, If you're in fair, chat and you've been robbed, we, no, I, I think we should now I start will, a new I will hashtag. Say this. hashtag there, there are two more, I will say. But there were 18 people eligible when I drew it. So I yeah. did not. I did not scam anyone. How many people are there now? How many people are there now? <laughs> I uh, I can't check, unfortunately. I, uh, oh, I, can't, oh, I don't have my glasses. I don't have my what glasses on. Everyone was robbed. <laughs> but uh, if Hashtag you're writing it now, you uh, you will have it when we do the next one in in about half an hour or so. Uh, so stick around for that. Uh, is I a game? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. He's, he's already said something. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm just saying. Uh, Please hit he's, up. He's used up all his luck. Twitch his Whisper, life. Rainbow Six ANZ. <laughs> Twitch Whisper, the, the account that is streaming right now, and uh, and tell us what platform you would like your R6 credit codes on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. Uh, and for the rest of you, hope, hopefully it's not Repix that wins it. Cause... That's like walking into the lottery and as like... They're, <laughs> you buy a like ticket everyone. and then they read it off on the telly. <laughs> okay, okay. can I just say, it It might be a little bit different to walking in and buying a lot of... Maybe, maybe it's a little bit different between a good 2 million people and 18 people in a Twitch chat with... 120 viewers. I don't know. I'm just gonna put that out there. One in a million. Know? That's one. One in a million. You are. You get. You get the idea, though, man. man. You get. The, yeah, you, yeah. Base total. Sense. You can see the yeah. correlation. Correlation's right there, mate. I will tell you what. So this is the the part of the show where um we really get to test guys because we've got a pro guest on, someone who actually knows what he's talking about. He can. <laughs> so I want you, Oda. After Guz does this segment, I need you to rate out of ten how. how Look, there's no way I'm not going to get ten for so, this because it's really not that complicated. I need you to so. rate for um how accurate Guz was in his analysis. I want you to rate on his delivery and then just generally like how much you like Ready's him mustache as a, as as a well. person <laughs> and how uh, hot you think i am yeah <laughs> which is already at least an 11. so guys are we gonna play full screen first here uh i think i'll just preface the quick the clip quickly um so it's from wildcard of round at number uh, six uh the, the important thing to note in this matchup it was if uh, is it was on clubhouse double hard breach ban so mav and habana was taken off the board so we saw a lot of thermite um, ace play brought out from both teams and overt brought out impact tricking which kind of feels like it's been out of the meta for a while now but they were really good at it and uh yeah this clip will show how wildcard tried to counter that taking their time with this approach oh a little bit cheeky from geo catches it on the ledge he'll get absolutely nada from that pat's gonna go ahead oh i like this are they gonna be able to find this here ed pan What's he expecting? He's going to hear it. He's going to back away as well. Now he's going to be careful about murder hole at foot height. Yep, and right on the box on Q, Jerry finds that kill. That's really well played from Wildcard, directly countering the setup oh, there Gio. from the impact nades. Cairo, though, holds his ground. Yet to be cut off, but Ooh. Pat immediately on Q will find that mm. pick. That's a really good neutral result. Both teams will be honestly pretty pleased with... What was that, guys? Yeah. So, uh, Pat there on the Thermite, using the Thermite uh, charge itself, the Exothermic, placing it on the ground. That way it can't be impact trick because you can't, of course, get the explosion radius to get rid of it. Um, opens that line of sight and then they get a kill off the back of it. Now, it's not a trick that's new. This isn't revolutionary, but it is something we haven't seen for quite some time. Um, and the fact that they got a kill off the back of it as well was really well played from Wildcard, who, again, 
I can't remember what round it was, but there were previous rounds or maybe future rounds where they really did struggle against that impact trick. So it was something that they had to be really, really careful of. Hmm. I actually Oda. remember those rounds. Oh, well, on the play or on Guz's and uh, one, one, one after other. You go, you go the play first and then we'll, then we'll wreck Guz. Uh, just good from wildcard. Good they've seen the impact trick um, holes open and it's easy adaption. Uh, them at the floor. And then you can just clear those positions. Like, and then we're also going to be is um, on the tables. And then one drone in, you know, you clear CC, maybe a nade from Geo if he's playing on like a table or something. But yeah, like, nah, wildcard just done well. And then 10 out of 10 for Guz, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that's what I like to hear. Yeah. So, that's, what's that yeah. per criteria? We had uh, accuracy of the analysis, we had uh, presentation, and then we just had generally how much you like him. All 10. And he's. <laughs> oh, what yeah. about, what about his. Uh, as well. What about his uh, Zinger box critiquing? Oh. <laughs> yeah, zero on that one. Oh. <laughs> I will say as well that that drone that wildcard used um, up on the up above the triple above, wall through the top impact red, or, or <laughs> top red double wall whatever you want to call it. Um, it was really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So yeah. Yeah. did get shot in was it a fluke? Though. Was it was it a fluke? Nah, he was deliberately doing it because obviously they had the. Um, the top of the wall was blown out to facilitate the impact trick so they just angles go both ways abused it and then sent the drone over i love oh, yeah. i love manic's little yeah, comment it's though. definitely intentional oh that's a bit cheeky <laughs> well, it is isn't it isn't it a bit cheeky don't you think it is i definitely rate that as that's cheeky. why i said i like the comment <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't tell with you. You're a bus driver. Your intents uh, are never are never shown. Don't give me this shit. Oh, uh, mate, mate, mate. Xenox, since you love oh, the Oh, Jigsaw so much, says I'm... he understands KSC should be eating out of a box. See, that's why Jigsaw is actually a good player and consistently posts numbers, and you don't. <laughs> Jeez. I'm, I'm the one draining him in so he can get those numbers. What do you mean? <laughs> nah, 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 you know what, Oda? You know what you need to do to put him in this place? It's just like, next scrim... <laughs> Just you join a room and you see someone hiding in the corner and just be like, yep, clear. And then just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> uh, Xenarch's next segment is all yours. How do you want to play this one? Uh, we can play the clip first, mate, and then we can uh, dissect it and discuss it after the clip has finished. All right, let's jump in. Ask it to be. Boyd is still low, but he pushes into the bathroom with the kill onto Cairo. This allows Hotshot to now get on site, get this plant down. Waiting for that refrag. Wedipal pushes in, though. Does not allow. Twent, he's done some big things this game, but he needs to go nuclear if he's going to save it here for a vert. That diffuser has been planted. Wedipal's in Hotshot. They deny Twent. They deny a vert. They keep Wildcard alive, and they keep their playoff hopes alive. Holy crap, just look at that from Kaken. Could not be more pumped. The Rufflecopter machine is flying. Yeah, look, us. that was uh, that was quite something. Quite a win from Ruffle. So, Xenox, what was that? Tell me. Yeah, so I just wanted to sort of spotlight Boydy showing no emotion there at <laughs> all. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I couldn't care less about the way he looks. But um, no, I, I did want to spotlight this match in particular. Both teams, uh, Ruffle and Avert, it was our match of the day um, designated on the broadcast. And it lived up to it, as you can see. A nice close uh, finish, very tense final round as well. Ultimately, Ruffle come away with the win. That was the round, of course, Jacuzzi Wall didn't get opened up. And yet still Ruffle uh, pushed through, got the uh, gym bedroom site and, uh, and got the win. Twent in a one versus two. Uh, I thought for a second, maybe does he do something crazy? I think he had a good moment very early on in the match as well. So I thought... Uh, he might replicate that. It wasn't to be. Uh, this was, right here, of course, was the, the not denial from below of Hot Shot, um, stopping that one. So Avert had their chances. Roffle capitalized, and that was really just a very solid match. The other thing I wanted to highlight and spotlight is the the siege that both of these two teams are implementing, and mostly I think Avert and what they've been able to bring to OCN that attacker aggression sort of style of siege. Uh, it's a breath of fresh air. Of course, teams like Bliss um, have also been doing it, Chiefs, and I think it's kind of um, is it ironic, maybe the word I'm looking for, but the teams that maybe months and years gone by currently down the bottom that are a little bit more slow, methodical, kind of getting overtaken by these more faster paced and attacking uh, teams. And I, I love it. I think it's awesome. 
probably wouldn't have said that Auto were ever slow and methodical, but uh, you know, you do. You <laughs> yeah, look, I, I don't know. Like, I just didn't want to put wild card by themselves. Let's be yeah, real. Yeah, no, I get that. I like Chiefs, lots of lots of jump, lots of jumps point. out, jump outs, lots of awesome plays. I mean, shotguns, everything. I mean, it was absolutely one of the the better matches I've watched for a while. Punk. Yeah, good. I always enjoy. Cool. I think I think these teams have a little bit of a like a. I don't know if I want to say rivalry because I'm not saying that they hate each other's guts or anything, but, you know, we did have Overt versus, you know, Kaken from the old Fury guys went back on here. We played on that roster. These guys played each other all the time. And uh, in OCL, Twent used to coach Fury, if I'm not wrong. So um, would have felt pretty yeah. good facing his uh, his former teammate as well, I'm sure. Uh, overall, good game. Pretty heartbreaking for Overt. We already touched on that, though. Uh, so mm. that ties up your segment, Xenox. Thank you very much. Mm. Robert. Thanks, Xenox. Yeah. No worries. Now we, now we get to the uh, the most impactful, most exciting segment of all. It's the uh, the Matic Clutches of the Week. Now, we've got four options to choose from. Last time we had three. This time we've got four. Two of them are by the uh, the wide shoulder bloke himself. Then we've got a cheeky little one from Twent, which Xenox has already mentioned. And we've got one final one that I think everyone might enjoy. Uh, and Spruce. I think you'll get up and down about this. <laughs> oh, one, but, no. uh, let's, let's play the clip, shall we, Dev? I, I actually, you know, if we if we want to get sweaty, uh, I could do like on. a poll in the chat even if we want to get I real mean, if sweaty. I if you want to, if you want to, yeah. if you want to get sweat, go for it. Is clip, for up, the, is clip for the meme clip? How do we do this no, poll thing? There's no meme clip. This is clutches only, guys. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I'm getting it's some the meme clutch vibes. of the week. <laughs> Old man tries to figure out how to add a poll. Man, man, I gotta run everything. I know how to do it. I just you know. We're gonna watch this clip first, all right? You, I'm not going to mute you guys, all right? So we're just oh, going to be God, sitting in the, back, oh, in the background, geez. right? Here we yeah. go. Even the ghoul can get into a position. This is the first clutch. Shh, I want to listen to the casting. Oh, no. Oh. This is great. Great foreshadowing. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's in position. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Bailey. Don't oh, no. you do it to him. Don't do it, Drex. He's right on the other side of the drywall. Bailey tries to pre-fire it. Oh! No way! Yeah. That is disgusting. Just can't teach that. Bailey can't wants teach. to be that free. Is like the it's what we call built diff, mate. Hey, um, oh, you brought us back? Yeah, no, I mean, do you want you want you want them straight after each other? Do you? Yeah. What are you talking about? We yeah, just mate, come on. Just hot fire. Come on, mate. Hot fire. Rapid fire. Old man tries to work out how to He holds on massively. Bailey. He's already clutched once before. Can he do it again? How has he done that? That's a good one of the craziest things I think I've seen. No way. Look at it. Match point order. The collapse. I can't no, believe it. And here's number three. To actually get involved here too, thinking that there's no one in there. He comes in late. Yeah, you can you really hear the energy the difference in the He gets the second one Jeez. as well onto Kaken. The planter Ken? turns into the fragger. That not sound asleep. I like that, by the way. Yeah. Little yeah. Plant yeah honestly, I was gonna call it out, but uh, no never mind. The <laughs> dev, when you're ready, uh, <laughs> Spruce, <laughs> ready, ready for the. Oh, here we go. This one, mate. I'm ready. Digital one v five. All right, digital. That's just the lack of respect that Chiefs are giving. No. Hey, Spruce. Spruce! He took a what took one out of the Spruce book. Hey, Sprucey boy! Why did you also gonna make it a Did you teach him? Did you teach him? <laughs> so, um, Probably we've got, have we got the Spruce clip to play? Oh, oh look, I, I was gonna get it, but then I got him! Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. ha! <laughs> 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 oh, back to 2019, six months! <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> you oh, that is shocking. You actually, <laughs> the entire magazine. <laughs> the entire magazine. <laughs> All right, get your votes in. Get your votes in, guys. Oh, <laughs> uh, number clip one was Bailey's one v three. Clip two was Bailey's one v two. Clip three, Twent's one v two, and then clip four is just. What is oh, this? Spruce. I don't even know. I mean, it's, I guess. it's, just, it's just an homage, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Digital. Look at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Honestly, we all know. We I, can't all know tell what it was. I can't tell the difference. They look the same to me. Like, I'm looking at the same thing. Look, it's the same thing. Corporate, corporate's asking you to find a difference. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a good Chucky. That's a good Chucky meme. Please, get someone get Chucky oh. on that one. Chucky. That's a freebie that's there, rough. mate. He That's doesn't really... usually need a, a bit of inspiration, but I'm. You don't, have to, you don't have to tag us, but it would be appreciated. I don't knowing knowing Spruce's history. How have you consciously gone back and actually brought Spruce back into the scene? That's my big question. 
I just remember we're all sitting in TeamSpeak and Shane and Todd go, what if we guess Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, it was a meme. <laughs> I was, no, no, no. <laughs> was like, what are we thinking, boys? And no, nah, <laughs> he's got in and he's, he's, he's put in work. So I respect it, I respect it. Uh, <laughs> look, at the end of the day, right? Uh, you know the skills he's got the brain that's all that matters if he oh. can't shoot that's okay he's got I the right say, idea and that's what you want as a coach i would say like us denox he's got the charisma he just doesn't really have the brain though. i don't know about that one <laughs> look manic i always no, he's still, he's still blaming the mpx all these years on <sighs> i mean it's he... one bullet headshot mate like it doesn't matter what you're shooting with you could be shooting with the worst gun in the game still um, it's still uh, one bullet headshot also he had 31 bullets like if he had hit yeah. a third of those that <laughs> <laughs> would have gotten the kill uh let's get an update on the poll we're at <laughs> we're at 74 percent for the digital spruce moment so oh yeah I had to be done everything Easy. in its right place uh yeah. all right uh look manic i always enjoy your segments and you always yeah. you just you always treat me you always give me a little bit more than i yes. asked for yeah it's just a little bit of spice on top just add a bit of salt ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for guzz out of context when you're ready dev Oh god. Dude. Oh no. <laughs> My cheeks are already hurting. Dude. You ready for number two? You ready for number two? Yeah. 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 My cheeks are already hurting. One thing to mention, if you are a wild card fan <laughs> right now, you are getting on your knees and praying. <laughs> <win this match>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave him for one night. For one night. And Manny claps <laughs> his cheeks. I was a bit down bad for Manny. I mean, he's going to say he's a good looking bloke. Uh, there were a couple more in there that I wanted to sprinkle throughout, but it was going to be too long of a clip. So oh. I'll tell you what. Uh, I think yeah, Guzz out of context is going to be my, my new segment <laughs> of the week. Thanks, I feel like I have idea. a lot of those moments too, so it should be free content. We need more of that. More of that. <laughs> Mate, that's... <laughs> oh, the cheek hurting one, it's pretty funny. I know. I was trying not to laugh when you said that. It was too good. And then Chucky went and put it out of context, and it was even better. <laughs> well, the context of that clip is I was laughing so much from bloody Bailey's POV cam like the whole time I was literally just like suffocating no. myself laughing so I made oh, the comment God. I was like oh my cheeks hurt from did laughing you, did you catch yourself smiling on so many occasions <laughs> <laughs> you know you know there's I'll, those, I'll like... leave the, I will leave the podcast if that gets brought up again I will I will leave <laughs> you know there's those animated uh, skits where they like take caster reactions or like podcast moments and they put we gotta like, get that done completely like, out of that. context on a uh, uh, non-related animations that's that's what the goal that that would be the next level for chucky add it to the budget no. raven i know you're watching get no. it done guys guys were saying to me in the background that watching a game like the one in uh, ocn right oh, now is just oh, not it's... even enjoyable it's uh actually amazed what we see you know stage <laughs> no. to stage but you know it's just it's just one of those things but i, I think that guys the context was really you were you were dropping some bread crumbs and uh maybe, <laughs> bread maybe <what>? some <laughs> <laughs> i said crumbs <laughs> Let's let's hope that doesn't get brought up. That's out of context. I'll tell you what. This all I was gonna say is he's dropping breadcrumbs with a uh, uh and a b in there, and just hoping that some gamer boy doesn't come and clap his cheeks. That was all he was hoping for. All right. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oda, I think I think you and me just want to do our own podcast or something. <laughs> <laughs> we should see our team comps. It's worse. That's it's NSFW worse. stuff. You can't put that on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, oh, look, God. on that note, that's that's the end of the next segment. So we're going to draw the second giveaway. Put hashtag Spruce was the problem in chat. And if you're not sure whether Spruce was the problem, um, <laughs> let me see if I can get you this one. Um, yeah, so here we go. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> if, oh, you if you weren't sure, if you weren't sure, hashtag Spruce right, was Michael, the problem. Spruce, no, not I like think me. one thing to note here... Oh, is it could have been hashtag MPX was the problem. <laughs> and it was. But I think the only one that's advocating for that is actually Spruce. Uh, well, he said they won that round, though. <laughs> it was a bait. He was just getting in Luna's head. I like it. Luna was literally like about four HP as well. Luna just like, <laughs> she she stands on the roof like after like 10 seconds, just started like, how am I still alive? <laughs> that was also on LAN, I will say. That was at Dublin Esports Open it? on yeah. stage. Yeah. It must have been the ping. 
Spruce. <laughs> that round was pretty much the only thing you won in your two years of your playing career. So don't get too up and about, mate. I I'm just want to know what it what it feels like to be known for that moment and, and that. Didn't they beat yeah, Fnatic so. once on Bank? Yeah, Not it was the surely. last game. Last game of like season 10 or season 9 or something and i'm pretty sure it's uh was that the game that actually pushed alev was it yeah no, Oddity. Was no. It yeah Oddity? no 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 yeah yeah fury won no no fury beat no, Alev. Yes. no fury fury beat oddity on consulate i think it was, yeah, it was season 10 last yeah, play yeah that was when elevate chokes yeah, yeah to <laughs> that was a great day playoffs. that was a good day <laughs> yeah xenox was watching so intently <laughs> he was writing notes down yeah all right we're gonna draw the giveaway now You've had plenty of time. We've got 38 eligible users in the chat. The giveaway has been won by Lucky Crystal 9 and you better be in the chat and you better say something because if you oh, don't, I will lucky. redraw. Yes, Do you reckon they're lucky? That's the rule. They say they are. Should I just change my name to Lucky Xenox? <laughs> well, you do want to rebrand, so Maybe. do it. Yeah, that's true. Then you wouldn't have the same name as that other um, Battle Royale game. Ah, oh. that I think now has more is that the, the new, new Is that the new Ubisoft from Battle the, Royale? From the Knights. No, 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 it's not a Ubisoft game. Oh, the, oh wait, there's, games. there's other the, games. The player, the Knights player for Pub, PUBG. Yeah, the Knights, yeah. the Knights player of the Battle Royale yeah. game called Xenox. Uh, look, uh, if this is actually your mate, Jigsaw, you better... Oh, no, you did say something in the chat. There you go. All right, mate. Uh, Lucky Crystal 9. What you got to do is you got to go to Rainbow Six ANZ, uh, hit a whisper and say uh, what platform you would like it for, PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. Do you reckon he's just farming the credits for, for Jigsaw? Surely not. I mean, if I was Jigsaw's mate, I certainly wouldn't give it to him. I would definitely take that Jigsaw for myself. Jigsaw wants Falls back to back. He's got plenty of credits. <laughs> he's probably got 25 codes in his email. Yeah. Ready and waiting. We still have one more giveaway, which we'll do at the end of the stream. Uh, but uh, before nice. that, we have uh, a bit to get through. Um, so... We've kind of alluded to a lot, but we haven't really had the standings in front of us just yet. So, uh, before we watch that clip again, <laughs> <laughs> we've watched that clip enough times. <laughs> Here are the standings. Uh, as they sit with one play day to go of stage three, Knights 15, Bliss in second on 14, Chiefs on 12. So, there is a bit of separation out between those top three. Still a little bit choked up in the middle, though. Um, <sighs> rhythm is... Well, I, I'm forgetting this, Xenox. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you awake, mate. <laughs> you had this all sorted, didn't you, Xenox? But I'm, I'm starting to, it's starting to slip away from me. Is Rhythm 100% locked, or is there still one really scuffed, like, permutation Wait, where they what? can make it? Rhythm. Relegations? No, playoffs, firstly. Oh, pl no, they're, no, they're not pl uh, locked for playoffs at all. It's only right. two point. They are yeah, right. the likely team, right? So, of the three, Rhythm, Avert, Ruffle, obviously one has to miss out. Now, Rufflecopter... Um, must beat Wildcard. If they don't, then regardless for Rhythm and Avert, they'll go through. If, if Wildcard do beat Ruffle. But if Ruffle win, um, then Avert is obviously next in line, right? They, they will drop down if they lose their game. If Avert somehow win, then Rhythm would be the team that drops. Now, I'm going to quickly see the Avert Rhythm, which was Avert, actually Avert's do have the tiebreaker. Rhythm, so, yeah. uh, provided that Avert can actually get one point, they will you know, make it and rhythm won't, but yeah, there's a lot that has to happen basically. But I would be, I would, I would rather be in rhythms position to be fair, because honestly, like I love avert I've had a great stage. I don't see them beating the chiefs. Um, rhythm did. And that alone means that rhythm will, uh, yeah, well, rhythm's better. <laughs> what if overt carry the LFO <clears throat> curse though? Well, see, now, if that happens at that point, I think chiefs may as well just disband. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it makes sense. That makes sense. Just By the way, uh, Nuttery asked if Rhythm can... Uh, rhythm. Wait, no. I think he said Rhythm can still make Apex out. So I think Rhythm yes, would have they to... they technically can. So yeah, how, they would how... have to go through the playoffs run and finish, I think, second and hope that yeah. Ruffle Card don't make it. Ruffle Card? Ruffle Card. Ruffle Card. <laughs> Jesus Ruffle Christ, Card. it's a late one, boys. They're trailing Ruffle by 14 points, so they need yeah. to <laughs> earn 15. I, well, because they're probably going to have the head head or whatever. So the Rhythm need to gain 15 more seasonal points than Ruffle. So wouldn't that mean they have to come first and then Ruffle have to yes. come like fifth have or something? Fifth. Yeah, Ruffle have to come fifth or lower, fifth or lower. and lower. Rhythm first. Yeah, Which honestly, who knows? Pretty man. plausible, like, yeah. Or it would have to be <laughs> Rhythm finish second and then Ruffle finish uh, last, the, but the, I don't think that can happen now. The so. other world where... So the, the only world where Rhythm still actually gets relegated uh, or playing relegations... Overt win everything. Overt win everything and Rhythm do no better than fourth. 
So if Rhythm get third and Overt, Overt get first, then even first place in stage three won't be enough to save Rhythm. Oh, uh, sorry, Overt rather from playing in the relegation tournament. <clears throat> I will just say that it is it is a tournament. Like when we say wild card are playing relegations, they're not relegated yet. They still have a chance. Uh, there'll be a double Elian bracket. One foot in the door. <laughs> well, I mean to be fair, you get two, two lives right, through, through relegations as well. Like you know, they don't have to beat. Um, they just have to beat two of the teams. They don't have to beat all three of the teams that play in that tournament. So if, if it's Wildcard, Overt, and Fury, and Big Dogs, for example, from those two from OCR. Up the Big Dogs. Yeah. Then Wildcard just have to beat two out of those three teams, uh, and then they're through. Are they going to be capable, though? Maybe. I've beat uh, Fury in ranked, so I think Wildcard could <laughs> maybe beat them. <laughs> you beat them? Just you? We beat them. We did. Oh, we, 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 okay. did we did, didn't It was a pretty good game. No, easy, mate. That was shit. Definitely haven't lost to them like five times since then. Definitely not. Don't check my rank stats, please. Uh, but hey, I mean, Fury what is was the map? an up and up team. Yeah, Generally, it's, it's coastline. coastline, mate. Coastline, <laughs> Hell, we thrive on coast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we, we just tilted the hell out of him with Ying. Anyway, um, yeah, so look, wildcard uh, down the toilet, uh, obviously. Mm. Uh, they are still a world where they don't end up last for this stage, but mm. it doesn't have an impact on them escaping Relos. Oh, they're locked in, baby. Yeah, What's the chances the, of them beating Ruffle, though? Yeah, I think it's possible. Low. Low. Pro probably the Low. most favoured game. So, uh, of those three, Ruffle, Overt, and Rhythm, of the, the three games there, I feel like Ruffle's the one which is most likely a certain cause. Mm. The same thing happened last stage, in stage two, it was Ruffle, Wildcard, and like whoever won made playoffs. So, Ruffle just had to beat Wildcard again. And that game was what, the 7 2 on Coast. Yeah. So I feel like Ruffle yeah. will definitely overcome Wildcard in the last play day. What about the top end? Um, I feel like it does make sense that Knights is uh, sitting at the top. Um, Bliss, oh, Bliss, Oda, are you starting to feel like a bit regretful that you dropped a point when you played Order by only beating them in overtime? What do you mean, Ruffle? Was it Ruffle? I thought it was Order, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was Ruffle 8 7 on Oregon. Ah. Um. <laughs> Who did Order lose uh, to in o OT? A lot. <laughs> Who didn't they lose? Overt. To? Overt. That's the only OT game oh, they've yeah. had Xenox, you dickhead. Yeah, but right. you get my joke, right? Like, they've lost a lot. <laughs> 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 they have lost five games. So not as much as Wildcard, who've lost six games. <laughs> what? I didn't Wait, realize. Is that, I, like... is that right? Did is I that... write my number? I think no, I wrote no, them. No, no, they've, that... they've won one, one, two, three, yeah. four, five. They've lost that... five, one, one. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, I made an, a, uh, an oopsie when I was in. Is that a graphic? That's and... wrong. Uh, who do I? Who <laughs> do I miss? Hey, and, hey, Zenox, who did you know? Card beat, boys. <laughs> who? Someone just. I'm trying to remember. Honestly, one, that? one guess who? Who? Yeah. Yeah. That's gotta be. Oh shit. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean. Ruffle. It was the Ruffle game. Was this sh the sh Oregon game you mentioned? Yeah. Yeah. Went down. Match point. I mean, OT match point, and they wanted to three man flank, but uh, be questionable. But yeah, we we take the two points. I guess should have <laughs> should have got the three. So why didn't you? Oh, uh, so we could be in second place for playoffs. <laughs> second place <laughs> wins the grand final. <laughs> Oh, you know, let's be honest. Knights isn't a sure thing for this last game. You never know, boys. You never know. Mm. Up the rhythm. Up the rhythm, I'm telling you. Feel the rhythm, mate. Right? Feel the rhythm. No, that doesn't sound right. Just up the rhythm. So in stage two, you guys could only play two maps. Uh, how many maps do you think you can play now? Maybe three? Maybe maybe four? <laughs> Five. Well, four. Five, Five, six. Five, Jeez. Oh, Five, six. What about seven? What's, what is it? Is it Coastline nah, or Bank? Which one is it? Go nah, ahead, I can't <laughs> bank, mate. Bank. He's. They've got it in the bank. So what I want to know. What I want to know is. Oda has like, a. Oda has a pretty good bank. Are we going to see you guys go back to like you know? I think cafe was your best map back in the day statistically. Yeah. So like, are we going to see you go back to cafe and just flop? You like haven't scrimmed it in two months, and you're like, how do we play this again? What's happening here? Well, everybody keeps banning it. We still prack it because like you have to just be consistent on it. But yeah, no one wants to take us wink, to wink. it. So just waiting for that grand final day, we can bring out our cafe again. Someone's oh, going to take it to That's you. a bait. Someone's that's that's a bait. That's that a is bluff. a bait right there. I reckon <laughs> someone's going to take you to cafe and spank you senseless. Someone do click it. this right someone, now. Someone do it. I'll wait yeah. for it. Listen to that false confidence. Yeah, 
I'm way fucking Order. here. Knees knocking from Order over here, mate. Order Stuart. Last play day. <laughs> Just practicing for Chalky, I don't want my um, picture shown in the upcoming video when we we'll end up losing on Cafe. Thanks. I'm going to get out of frame. Because that, that's going to get clipped and shipped. That's all I'm saying. You just can't put that out in the world, Oda. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I think, yeah. what was it? Specker ended yeah. up in one of those videos? Yeah, it came back to fight Specker pretty damn hard on that's the other. <laughs> I remember when Auto used to say they were the best team on Oregon, and they lost. <laughs> I swear that lasted for like a week. <laughs> best team in Oregon, they're the worst team in Australia. So I don't know. What's going on. <laughs> Dear, the curve, you're this is the part where he goes hashtag order merchandise. <laughs> have you have you have you have you thrown your order cap out yet and burnt it or what? <laughs> no, no, no. I still got it somewhere. I don't have. If they get, if they get relegated out of like Apex South, are we going to get like an order cap burn video or what? Yeah, no, no, because it's the only hat that hides my ball. Holding, mate, my receding <laughs> hairline. I need something to hide it. You can get a bliss cap. Bliss are gonna hook you up. Yeah, bliss, this bliss is probably up, a good time go, to baby. mention that uh, you can purchase the order skin in store right now for, for the five hundred two commando. It's ninety five percent mental for three hundred or six credits. There you go. Thanks. Well, you know. Thanks uh, for that, mate. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, thanks for hyping up order that much, boys. Um, okay. Where was I going with it. this? Um, I'm pretty sure I just shit on them completely, but uh, well, that, yeah, cool. that was the joke, man. You don't you don't understand my dry sense of humor, and it disappoints <laughs> me. Ha ha ha! That's so me. funny. <laughs> Everyone else. Dev is definitely the funniest caster. There's no doubt. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. That's why I'm without up in this doubt. top corner, and you plebs are all down there. Yeah. Um, you serious? There was something I was <laughs> gonna. Cow, you dick. There was something I was gonna say, and it has completely escaped me. Oh well, nothing of value was lost. So <laughs> you're not wrong on this. Dev, Dev has a lot of those. I, I did have. Um, oh yes, no, I had. I had a legit question. It was actually because you were talking about map pool expanding. Obviously, that's focused. Like how much legit? You know, we memed it, but how much has having an additional support staff having Spruce on? Because previously it was just all Todd, right? Or was yeah. all kind of you guys helping, but like Todd was the main driver. Now you have someone who doesn't have to worry about playing. They're doing that like. Is that like revelationary or is that just a, like slightly impactful? It's definitely impactful because our shots used to come from Todd messaging me at 3 a.m. Wait, oh yeah, let's hit some dry runs. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, are you serious, man? Like, <laughs> so then we'd hit like the 3 a.m. dry runs. Now it's kind of like you have Spruce, you can look at teams and you can make counter strats for teams. So then it's not just like us playing our defaults. And then countering teams just make it, I don't know, make it easier to play against how they play and stuff, really. So, so is, it, just... it, is it like Todd's kind of like helping you set your defaults and your basics and stuff, and then Spruce is mostly just like the research into other teams? Yeah, pretty much. Todd's just like doing um, default strats. Like Todd, Shade, and me. More Todd. Um, and then we have like, you know, your little cheese strats. And then, yeah, just Spruce is more like counter strats for other teams and stuff like that. So what you're telling me is Spruce is doing the easiest job in Siege. <laughs> well, Spruce's job got us a win over Chief, so I'll take it. Oh, just, oh no, it didn't. The most important, was... most important question, I hope Spruce is still in chat so he can answer this, but does he mute the chat? Does he mute the VOD when he watches us? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. You obviously wouldn't mute the most uh, we well-spoken <laughs> and intel... Ah, oh, yeah, there, there it is. He says he does. That's unfortunate. But I mean, I'm assuming that's just for Xenox and Guz casting, right? Not for not for me and Manic, no. right? There's no way he mutes us. It's too much knowledge coming out of one cast. To, yeah. To Can we ban him before he has a chance to respond? <laughs> <laughs> just time, time him out again. Uh, <laughs> all right. So look, I mean, do <laughs> a Spotify playlist straight away. <laughs> uh, predictions are uh, <gasps> not been the easiest uh, si si stage i'm gonna say stage oh, to win to another stage hell yeah i mean i'm i won last stage okay nah playoffs thank you i won yeah, both yeah. i won no we tied me and you tied regular stage and me and manic tied okay, well, yeah. I'm, well yeah. i'm going for three from three like like the chiefs say so. well I'm, I'm only one behind I'm you so. i'm actually i gotta figure out who do i tip against you here because i have to <laughs> for it right <laughs> Wow. Do I go? Do I go for one or two? That's the real question, Guz. Wait, what? Are our ties scores tied? Oh no, they're not. No, you're you're oh. ahead by one. So I've got to decide: can... do I go for the draw? Oh, or Guz do I could go just for... copy Xenox's predictions and game the system. Guaranteed. No, I won't do that. No, no, he does, that. He doesn't do that. Guz is. A but then Mandy that's, might that's screw weak. me over, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Because Mandy's weak. also on 15. Well, the <laughs> thing about the final week, not, not to kind of rain on the parade here, but the final week looks pretty easy to predict. Besides, maybe. No, it looks pretty easy to predict. Yeah, but it's never going to go that way, is it? So, 
But yeah, well, let's talk about the uh, current graphic, of course, for the show here. Uh, Oceanic oh, Nationals presented by Samsung. <laughs> you forgot <laughs> to plug that one at the start of last time, mate. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I was listening. I was listening to your boss, Ryan and bloody and Raven. <laughs> there was nearly a, a firmly worded email, I tell you. <laughs> oh, is that why you almost lost your job? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I thought it was because you were just a shit caster. <laughs> Certainly worded emails will be coming your way, mate, if you don't plug the Samsung. Uh, but here we go. Uh, he doesn't Stage like plugs as much play. as you do, Matic. Oh, Enough oh, of the dirty oh, talk, plug. boys. What? <laughs> yeah. oh. That's what like a plug big or small doesn't make a difference, mate. I could go on all day <laughs> about how good NVMe SSDs are, or or I could just talk about the order merch. Or you know what? Even one step further, you could go across to teambliss.com.au <laughs> right now and grab the hottest merch. Bliss up. That's all I'm saying. Oda, stand up for us and show us that <laughs> damn merch. That's right. Type Whoa. In. Now, now so what hot. I want you to do, do a little 180, but stop halfway. Just like start moving up and down. <laughs> <laughs> you almost had him. <laughs> I'm actually having a look. The jerseys after, are after. sweet. I actually, I actually do love the jerseys. I'm looking on my laptop right now. Yeah. See? The mouse hey. pad. The mouse hey. pads Edge. are good as. Edge, listen. Hey, I am your plug. I am your plug. You know where to come when you go to give merch to the boys. I will say it's a bit it's a bit odd seeing polo shirts. I haven't seen polo shirts in a while. It's something a bit different. Also, yeah, I will say very, get all the chads. Very reasonably all priced. The yeshes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna go down to Frankston it's, train station. You're gonna see all these bliss all these eshes wearing bliss polos. <laughs> Eshay, bliss up! With their like Air Max 95s. <laughs> yeah, bliss up, throw some gang signs. Hey, you got a line up bliss up? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys. We think we need to go and start bloody, uh, start manufacturing <laughs> lighters just for that, oh. mate. Tell you what, my cheeks are starting to hurt now too. <laughs> <laughs> they, d they tend to do that after plugging. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to cue the outro just to get everyone, snap everyone back in. <laughs> that was a bit, uh... <clears throat> oh, alright, bring it back, boys. Bring it back. Focus up. Focus up. Back to the, uh, back to the graphic at hand. <clears throat> alright, here we go. So, Chiefs versus Overt, guys. Is there a shoe in for uh, Overt? Uh, 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 maybe if they have a miracle. Oh, the thing is, right, if Overt did the Team Bliss strat of like hard countering Chiefs, it could be possible, to be honest, if they play really well. Um, I don't think it's likely, though. Chiefs sh should be able to win this. Yeah. Well, I know the Overt do look at VODs and look at like little things. Like, I can see a wildcard game that looks like <laughs> little C4s and stuff, so... They definitely do a bit of bod work. I reckon Overt could go OT against Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what does that? I would agree. What does that mean for the standings? Oh, do I have to go and look back again? Ah, uh, it's too confusing. Uh, it, to win. it would like it. It it would depend on what what happens with the Ruffle. But if uh, if Overt were to oh, actually, if they were to win, that who be has sure. the head to head? I it all goes just in and way Overt, out the other. Overt has the head to head over Rhythm. Uh, Ruffle have the head to head oh. over Overt. And there's and. Has, and it, Ruffle has it over Rhythm as well, right? Yeah. Oh, that's large. So so we could actually have all three teams draw on 10 points and then Ruffle goes through, presumably. Yeah, and what? Head -head. That would mean that uh, Rhythm would miss out because of the overt head-to-head, -head, mm. right? Yeah, I think Yikes. I think so. Big game for them. We got last game. Oh, <laughs> last game as well. Let's go. We're the Knights, yeah. Hey. I mean, surely Ruffle has clearly the, the best. I actually feel like Ruffle has the best chance of winning out of Overt Ruffle Rhythm. I feel like Overt has the next best. I don't know. Like, I, I think mm. Rhythm are in good form right now, but I think Knights mm. are going to tidy up. I don't have as much faith in Chiefs. And, um, yeah. Oh, I don't know. The other team, Oda, the, the only team that really made Overt look bad, I Shit. feel. Like every every other game from over, they looked like really good, even if they didn't get any points. But you're the only ones that seem to unlock that secret to making them look silly. So, what was the what was the strat? Um, how how do you do it? 
Well, we kind of just played our own game. We know that they like to play aggressive. Kara loves his crouch walks, that's why we bend the knock. <laughs> um, apparently they tried this new play style to like, get in our faces, clearly didn't work, Jigsaw shut them down. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> just, we knew how they play and we just shut on them. <laughs> <laughs> You. Can we put that? I, that's my new favorite anecdote. That was some good analysis. Yeah. <laughs> we knew how they play and we just, we just shout, shout on them. them. <laughs> so it is. It's a good one. Yeah, um, yeah look. Uh, you, you've been throwing around the stat, uh, Xenox, that in 2021, Chiefs haven't lost two games in a row. There is a hmm. first time for everything. And when they lose, they, when they lose, they lose bad. Like, they lose pretty bad when they when they mess Do up. They? So. Yeah. They do. They lost seven one to wild or seven two to wildcard in uh, Apex South. Um, they lost to Rhythm really dominantly as well. So don't forget. Are us. you are you implying that Chiefs are going to lose really bad to avert? Is that where you're heading with this? I just think there's a lot of inconsistency here. It just makes makes it hard to back. You think Chiefs are inconsistent? I right. I do. Stage three, absolutely. Stage two, they weren't. Stage two, they were very. Stage so the team with four wins and two losses is inconsistent. With the highest round differential in the league. Yeah. Would you like to uh, bring Jeez. in Apex South as well? Because if you had a look at Apex South. Well, this sure is no. Nah, well, listen, mate. We, we hang on a second. This is. I'm not making the Apex a comment South about. Podcast. I'm making this, a comment this, about no, no, the no, no. team as listen a whole and their entire listen environment. Me, right? that no, they listen, participated right? in. If we were talking about Apex, Rainbow no. Six scene for Rainbow Six Siege. If we were talking about Apex South, we wouldn't even have Odor on as a guest, you know, because Team Bliss are not in Apex South. <laughs> so, so, in the Rello, he's gone. But, but he, he will be there We're soon. talking about... Uh, he he don't know anything about soon. OCN and we still have you on the show, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like, I was going to say something nice about you, Dev, at the end of the show, <laughs> about your hosting capabilities. But honestly, I'm just going to say it's been quite wank. Like, it's, it's been crap. <laughs> Time to up the game, mate. Come on, let's let's focus up here. Let's move forward. <laughs> Chiefs are gonna win. We all know Chiefs are gonna win. I like Avert. They're awesome. They'll be back. They will dominate the Rallos. Uh, whoever they're gonna beat, they'll beat. Fury Wildcard doesn't matter. They'll be back next year. Let's talk about Raw for Wildcard. No, 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 no. It's not getting off that easy. I think what Oda said earlier about uh, Overt's ability to uh, VOD review and kind of abuse certain mistakes, or well, not even certain mistakes, but certain defaults that can be laid out by a team. I think this gives them a huge opportunity. Chiefs have two APAC South matches this week that Overt can go in on. Super weak. And, uh, it's uh, it's a it's a big it's a big week for for Chiefs in terms of Apex South, so they're not going to be holding back. They're going to be throwing everything but the kitchen sink because I mean they really want to be making playoffs, right? For Apex South, <laughs> Overt they're going to be sitting back going, "You beauty, look at this. Guys, one place." Guys, oh, oh, guys, honestly, please. memes. I I, I, come on, speak some sense into them. Come that on. That is an argument you could actually. It's a good point. I actually you can genuinely use that think game. Manix. That is the best piece of analysis that Manix has ever produced in his like six years of casting esports. <laughs> I, I mean, up. that is something. Uh, I think Chiefs, yeah, they are seriously... <laughs> the last thing Chiefs are thinking about now, honestly, is going to be this overt game. Those two Apex South games yeah. are really big. Um, are they the playing context in of Apex that South? League. Oh, I don't even know, but it doesn't matter. They're going to be two hard games. <laughs> um, <laughs> if Overt seriously actually do their homework, then... I, might, I honestly might even pick Overt. Like, do it. Uh, we'll, see how Chief, God, we'll, we'll, see how, we'll see how Chiefs play tomorrow, and that might dictate... So, Apex it. South ah. this week is... Uh, Chiefs are playing QC, which... Is not if they, if Chiefs game. if Chiefs lose to QC tomorrow, I am one hundred percent picking over. Ah, that's one hundred percent without a doubt. Do it now, you won't. Well, the other thing is that Chiefs no. are playing Knights on Thursday in APAC South, and that's a really big game for both of those teams. They both can be game really hard. Watch that game. Watch that game go to Villa and watch over just sit back and watch everything they need. <laughs> like, I, I'm foreshadowing this right now. Overt, watch them and force them to Villa, and man. After just, what I saw Overt do to Wildcard, like in terms of, not just in terms of the taking actual- Taking to their best uh, map as well. Yeah, they, they took it to their best map, but not only was it that, but like, and, and they spanked them, it was how they did it as well. There were just little pieces. Oda said before, you know, like uh, just a 1C4 that's thrown in a round. There was a specific round in bar where Pat had opened up the hatch, ran around to where the fridge is at front stage. And I, I can't remember who it was. Actually, actually I can't yeah, remember elements. who it was. Yeah, it was, it was. It was. It was elements. Threw a C4 through and caught Pat for a free kill. And it was like, man, these guys are not messing about. Like, they may be they kind aggressive. Of, 
Like they knew what they knew what wildcard were going to do before yep. they did it. That was yeah. how I would describe it. And that's what scares me. The new that's what scares me the most. Setups better than wildcard did. Yeah. I mean, look at the, so you think about it, right? Like you got tomorrow night. We got play day for Apex South. Chiefs are playing QC. <coughs> Knights mm-hmm. are playing Order. Wildcard are playing IG. That's definitely I think you know me. I, wildcard's like toughest game they played in a while. Watch your um, minute. And then you got break, break night, and then you've got Thursday night, and you've got Wildcard playing Order, which will be a tough game for both of those teams. Uh, I we think got a busy week this week, Xenox. Knights are playing Chiefs, which is going to be a tough game for both of those teams. And then you got a couple days off. We get back to Saturday, and all these non apex South teams. I mean, here, let's get some insight from you, Oda. Like, on a week like this, you know, you're playing Order, not the hardest opponent, but if you were playing Knights this week, right, and you knew that you just had so many free VODs where they're practicing for all these other teams, does that give you a bit of confidence? Like, is that where you're like, all right, time to kick into gear and watch those VODs? 100%. You watch their VODs, and like you look at you look at your maps, your best maps, their best maps, and you just plan the veto out in your head, really, because it's really easy to predict a veto, I feel, in OCN. And then you have VODs on teams on certain maps, and yeah, you just look at the little stuff, which is what we did to Chiefs with like just pre-placed drones, little um, positions they play, and you can change rounds around really. Who was it Scary. that um, we were talking? I think it was we were talking with Vast like off air during one of the play days, and he was talking about a particular player. I don't know if you, anyone here remembers who it was, and this player would just like trawl through VODs and look at where all like the pre-placed flank watch and prep phase drones were of any team they were playing. And then just go through and pop them one by one. Who was it? Was it Fish yeah, you said would do I that? Do, I do, yeah, I, I can't remember who it was, but he was definitely. I do remember you saying that. It yeah. would be. I mean, I wasn't. I don't think I was around for I that conversation. Think it was, but if it was his team, it would have been Fish. It was either Fish or like Nico, one of them. And they would just like sit there and go through VODs and VODs worth of just these pre placed drones. Yeah. That sounds like hell on earth. It does, because I mean. It, I, would, it, would be, it would be fastened up now a little bit with um, replays, but. It's true. I mean, I have. I think I have some nice drone spots. But the thing is, like, if someone watched my rank game, like three of my rank games, they would know all my drone spots. And then it's like, well, what are I going to do now? So you know, I mean, it's just like you, you just have to have so much like depth uh, in uh, in order to play. But hey, yeah, keep going through. Uh, Ruffle wild card. Um, I don't know what there is more to say. Uh, mm. Do wild card aim for clubhouse here? Surely. They Ruffle cop to beat overt on club. Maybe bank. Why can't bank didn't look terrible? Mm. Surely Ruffle will that. just ban that, right? But again, but again, I think the reason why Overt beat Wildcard so easily was due to their VOD reviewing. Like, honestly, mm. I, I genuinely believe wholeheartedly. When we spoke to Soya afterwards, and Guz can confirm this, Soya was like, "That was the easiest game because we just knew exactly what Wildcard were doing. Like the shields and and the conversation that we had to him around the meta that Wildcard were playing in. It would be hard to deal with if you hadn't VOD reviewed them. If you were just going in blind, you'd have no clue how to really. Well, I mean." you would have a clue how to deal with it but it would be too little too late whereas i vote we're slapping them so i think wildcard raffle cop that have 100 has potential to go to club i'd love to see it actually yep rob i can well, confirm that raffle cop's okay, best Wait, map point. statistically <laughs> this year is clubhouse five wins three losses plus eight round difference and it is their territory funnily enough mm-hmm. Oh, no, so they have banned Bank two out of three times, but they leave it until the very end of the veto before they ban it. So I feel like Bank will be- slip through until the end of the veto and then Ruffle will probably ban it. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Bliss versus Order. Do we... Uh, how deep do we dive here? Bliss wins straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't there matter what go. map. One of the next <laughs> Rhythm and Knights, uh, so... <laughs> No, seriously, I mean, I, I, I'm confident that Bliss will do this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll be. be. I don't think it'll be close. No. What map do you want? Can you give us some? Uh, coast, think, give us some coastline, bank. mate. Keep it. Can you get a bank coast. through? Can you get a bank through? Coastal bank, no, and I'm if, sure. If they let it through. They, oh. I think they banned it every week. Uh, yeah, they were. Yes, they have. Um, I've got the stats up right now. They also banned the hell out of Chalet, but not as much recently. Maybe a bit of maybe a cafe. Actually, I mean, yeah, just, I'm actually you know, wondering. going into playoffs. Oh, cafe is. I think I think teams. order would be down for cafe too. They like a bit yeah. of cafe. I, I reckon we're we just see how serious you are, Rider. Right Didn't they verse Invictus on it? Ah, uh, you know, yes, uh, they lost six eight. So, yeah, they lost six oh, eight. Lost. You guys have Good been shit. living on Villa recently, though. Holy shit! You played three yeah, Villa matches in a row. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, right? You're playing Villa on Saturday against Order. 
You're, you're gonna do it. It's you gonna be going villa. Nah, they've already done enough villa. It's time to prepare for. I'll ban it myself. I don't want to play. <laughs> 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 Give people. me some coastline. I want you guys to not be shit at coastline. Have, we haven't we seen said, coastline said yet. Shit. Right? I mean, oh. mate. <laughs> no. Yeah, you've no, lost it. You've played it twice this year and lost it both times. It is your second most banned map, I think. <laughs> is it our second most banned? <laughs> I, that's way. what I, I've got. Your first most banned is club. Second most is um, coastline. Of course, uh, bank. You've banned a lot, but that's only it's only been in yeah. for like a couple of your matches. Does it scare you that Dev has all of this at like his fingertips and like? You know, nah. he, could, he could pretty much give any stat that you needed for a map just on hand. <laughs> Here's a joke. Do you want to know what Order's worst map by far is in the most losses of any map from Order in 2021? It's Oregon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 10 losses. <laughs> oh, yeah. then, it's a beat. Their <laughs> next most lost map is Clubhouse with five. They have lost Oregon twice as much as clubhouse oh, in 2020 the two most default maps club oregon yeah it's almost half of their losses since they got picked up by order have been on oregon <laughs> that's good fun all right so it won't be oregon <laughs> it'll be villa i reckon um oh please no no, <laughs> no. Okay. villa could actually crack double digits by the end of the stage yeah if we get at least yeah. two more yeah thanks for that Fun rhythm Knights. Uh, will we feel the rhythm or will Sage get seven opening kills again? I, I have think a feeling. Like... No, you yeah, go. You go. go. Oh, okay. no, oh, no. Go. I'll go. No, no, it's all right. I'll go. Buggy up. Oh, no, I, think, I think Knights have a No, you go, Rob. You go, Rob. Uh, oh, no, no. I'll go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, hey, Dev, can you just tell uh, Guz to let Xenox know that I'm going to go? Guz, um, just chill out. Rob's going to go. Yeah. Um, okay, no, just let Rob know that I know. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Um, no, so like the, the thing about this matchup is as much as I love Rhythm and as much as they have done a phenomenal uh, a phenomenal campaign in Stage 3, I do think that Knights uh, kind of, they've got too much to prove in terms of, like as we've said, their complacency. It was two of the interview questions, one on Friday night, one on Saturday night. I genuinely think they've kind of come into the second half of this stage with a chip on their shoulder and they're currently sitting first. So... For them to drop that, you know, for, I mean, essentially it would it would have to be Knights that play poorly. I don't think Rhythm could play to their level if Knights took it seriously. I think Knights will end up on on top with this win. So, mm. and, and I do love Rhythm. I think they've done unbelievably in stage three. But this is just a this is another beast coming toward the end of the play days. I I have a theory that it kind of depends on whether or not Rhythm will actually need to get a result from this game. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we will actually know going into it if Rhythm don't need anything, yep. in which case I don't think they'll win at all. Or mm. it's a must win or two points or one point or whatever the, you know, this, the, the case will be. I think that could definitely dictate it a little bit, especially yeah. considering Rhythm's coming off the back of a um, very big win against the Chiefs. Mm. Uh, and not, not only that, but I mean, they got the job done versus Ruffle, got the job done versus Wildcard. Yeah, they slipped up versus Order. Um, had a really down night. And if you just take that out of the equation, though, their form has been um, very consistent over the last two weeks. So, look, if they have to win, if it's must win, I think that they could do it. I don't know if they will. Uh, maybe not. I think Knight's definitely going as heavy favorites. But, um, you know, in a, in a world where Avert lose to Chiefs, which theoretically, once that, like, it's the first result of the night actually kind of yeah. dictates the last game of the night. Um, oh, for all yeah. intents and purposes, right? Once Avert lose to Chiefs in any way, Rhythm are in to playoffs. So they won't even need the result. Big, big game. Do you want to hear a I fun stat? Definitely think. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> this year, Rhythm have only won three different maps. Uh, Cafe, they won once in stage one. <laughs> Villa, they've won once in stage one, once in stage three, and mm. their other four wins in 2021 were on Oregon. That's pretty. Oh, that, that's a pretty good map. There are your three. There are your three map, map bands. Yeah, there are your three map bands, Knights. Does that mean Rhythm are better than Bliss confirmed? <laughs> Bl no, Bliss has won. I think four or five different maps. Nah, nah. I don't think How so. about I think this? About Knights. Knights have won six maps. The only map Ooh. they don't have a win on is Bank, and they've never played it. Well, I'll count that then. Rhythm, so, rhythm, Knights go to bank. They prove a point. <laughs> oh, please. 
Please, last game of the play day of the stage that could determine Rhythm's... Oh. I hope Rhythm fi are fighting for their playoff spot. Yeah. I don't... I don't. I really don't... I didn't know how difficult Knights are going to push their opponents or how hard they're going to push their opponents here, right? Because they're already locked in for playoffs. Do they really care about where they finish? Honestly, I don't know. So Ooh. this is going to be know, a very potentially interesting game, IMO. You know what I would actually would like if I had a wish list for next year would be, and it would never be possible, but like a floating fixture of some sort where what? like it's not locked in weeks in advance where like you can actually change the order of the matches, say a week oh, out. Geez. That's interesting. You don't know, don't know who's playing who until close to the day is what you're saying. Oh, no, sorry. You know who's playing who. Just fix fixturing it. The time slot, I'm saying. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah so like a week. So, like, you know, once Play Day 6 concludes, you would then be like, right, now heading into Play Day 7, let's do the time slot kind of thing. I mean, all the teams know they're playing on that night anyway, right? And then you'd yeah. still give them, like, a, a proper four or five days heads heads up, maybe even six yeah. days. Like, it's just the... You would, would just it do change, it on... Would it, would it change that much, though? Well, I mean, it would, you would just kind of get rid of the dead rubbers first. I put the dead rubbers in the early time slot, and then that way you can have the games that will impact. Uh, as a um, player, Oda, would this bug the hell out of you? Because you wouldn't know what time you're playing. Uh, yeah, it definitely would. Because then, like, some teams like to warm up stream and that. But like, even like last stage when it was us versus Chiefs, they tried to do that to us, like try to make us be the last game. But then, like, some side on chip because, like, oh, yeah, no, that was because we wanted because it was going to be the like the match for first place, so we wanted yeah. it to be last, yeah, yeah. just yeah. you know, build the hype. But, yeah, mm -hmm. I think it and, would mess yeah, teams you guys up went down for that because they have um, warm ups, like, warm up scrims, yeah, and like, people work as well, so like, I don't know. But you play on different times, though, don't you? Unless you've got preset times, I guess, maybe the start of the stage. I'm, I'm not privy to that if like you guys because, like, I actually just realizing apparently Bliss play. Every single game is the last two games of the night. Yeah, because Todd works. He gets home at like 7, 7.30. I believe mm -hmm. teams put in preferences so, yeah. um, right, for okay. like when, yeah. when they're available. Like, because obviously yeah. we have different time zones. It's not, not, I think we do it for Apex Hub as well. I'm not 100% on that. Um, but like, obviously we have like Perth players who are on a very different schedule to New Zealand players. And then you have teams like Chiefs, which have both. Um, yeah. So it depends. Whereas Order, I think yeah. only have like East Coast plus so Zealand. basically xenox your idea is shit <laughs> well i mean i think i th oh, look, it's I a, think no it's a good idea in theory but not yeah. practical probably wouldn't work. no exactly yeah yeah look i'll 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 sum up this last play day if overt somehow managed to beat chiefs in regulation time that really puts the pressure on rhythm but what that then allows a little door to be open to is the fact that rhythm could leapfrog chiefs and finish third overall what? and come in yeah, oh, and finish in the set finishing the what that's the quarterfinal the, the second game that could be quite big if you it's uh, only if you know, win like yeah but you know we're all we that's our job is to play on if ends and buts and you know what buts don't lie and i'm thinking <laughs> if, i'm if, thinking overt if rhythm win regulation and chiefs lose regulation they'll be tied yep. on 12 points rhythm have the head-to-head -head. rhythm <laughs> will get straight into the second round of the gauntlet. They won't even have to play the first game. Have they even played a game in uh, playoffs? I haven't e had that. Ever? The, bottom... <laughs> the last time they no, played they in did playoffs relegations. was six, six Masters 2019 on stage, where they oh, were the right. non-broadcast match on Friday night. Oh, against Wildcard. Against Wildcard, and they, they won about four rounds in the BO3. <laughs> oh, rough. I want to see it. I want to wow. see it. Let's get rhythm there. Ah, uh, it's not going to happen. Yeah, probably not. Probably Clip not. it and ship it. Clip it and ship it, boys. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. So, so what about uh, just to extend this since it is the final player day? But what's the mini? Uh, what's the mini league for all three teams being tied on nine points oh, and over man. OT loss and a ruffle OT win and a rhythm <laughs> regulation loss? All right, let me let me. You know, rhythm, I might be, yeah. rhythm finish. Maybe I, I can try. And, I can try and sque screenshot. I'll leave that one to the admins. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's rhythm stay on top and then overt go in second because of the. Fact well, rhythm lost to overt. Oh, so it's ruffle. Sorry, it's ruffle. So overt go out completely. Rhythm be ruffle though. Huh? <laughs> they, well, so the thing is between yeah. all three, they've all beaten each other, kind of thing. Well, you know? they have, so haven't not, they? Yeah. Have they? Well, they have. Overt beat rhythm. Rhythm beat ruffle. Ruffle beat overt. All right. Is it good at round difference after Wait. that? Or? 
Let's try to figure this out. Oh, God, this is going to be... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you screwed me over here. So, wait. So, Rhythm has to win, lose in overtime. Overt has to win in overtime. And Ruffle has to win. All teams will be tied on 10 points. Uh, the head-to-head... -head, the tiebreaker... I, I believe we looked at this one time and it's didn't have a clarification for the app. So, it's, it's mini, mini league. league round difference, right? Yeah. So... What do we got? What, so the mini league will be 7-5 over, over rhythm, 3-7 ruffle over rhythm. So let's just count everyone's rounds. So like Minus 7 two. for overt, another 5 for overt down here, and then... Where's the other overt game? Well, they can't play no, they, themselves. They can't play themselves, man. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm like Xenox who plays with himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting it's getting past my bedtime. Um, about Siege Boys. Boys. So he does play. He does play a lot of. So hunt. twelve. So yeah. overt will be on. Uh, so that's plus twelve and minus twelve. So they'll be on zero, like plus zero round differential. Uh, I think rhythm pull ahead. Rhythm will be on, uh, twelve plus two. And Ruffle will be on... Yeah, you're right. R Ruffle will be yeah. on minus two. So it'll actually yeah. be rhythm over at Ruffle then. I yeah, they... appreciate that Deptra knew what was going on. And Did he? <laughs> I, haven't seen Deptra, I haven't seen Deptra say a damn thing for like weeks. He <laughs> they, was in the chat earlier. In with the, red, the most random piece of knowledge um, that you could have, mate. That is on topic. So Nuttery's... The Liquipedia man, he knows all this stuff. Um, if he yeah. can double check what I've said and we think we're right, then that's probably where we're at. How does Team Bliss not Adam's have a Liquipedia page? That's what I'm saying. Get on to it. Even oh, Re Repix doesn't even have one. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> have my own player page. Who? Gotta Who? get Nuttery on it. Yeah? Who? Wait, I got one now? Yeah, you got one. Who? Oh, let's go. <laughs> you have an approximate total winnings of $1,900. I don't uh, think that's are you, always are you very rich? accurate. I, I, Am I rich? Liquipedia and not being accurate? Now, Dev, you can't <laughs> throw around accusations <laughs> like that. That's a big call. <laughs> All right, so what did we're kind of... Summer Series, Odor? Have you been around longer than Wait, I Who did you play for in Summer Series? Uh, Vanguish. He's Vanguish. Oh, yeah. no! You lost, you lost O2 to Low Key. Me and Vlad. <laughs> The good oh, old yeah, low key, VQ. which is like Joker. Good old VQ uh, days. It was Chapo, Oda, Ilya, Luca, Rigba in the qualifier. Oh, the, Rigba. the OG squad. Oh, no G. And you lost in the round of 16. You shitter. Yep. <laughs> so, and Loki well, lost we're, O2 we're, to Dark Sided, so you would have lost the next game anyway, probably. Yeah. <laughs> we're praying here for Rufflecopter to win in regulation, Overt to win in OT, and Rhythm to lose in OT. And then it's stay, the standings stay the same. It's Rhythm and Overt in the first playoffs match and ruffle miss out but that would be a three-way tie on 10 very exciting hey mm. dizzle's dizzle's hitting the uh the hard-hitting questions what's ccg <laughs> ccg Wait. not covering those what's that it's ccg <laughs> Mate, we don't need ccg we've got dev Marta match tracker that's all you need <laughs> very true very true we've got ducky esports from snow from ducky from snowboard <laughs> esports from snow. ducky. That, that, <laughs> you did real well there mate uh, well look there's nice ducky of you to jump in goat. though we are we are wrapping up right now uh that's basically uh the whole long and short of it we've got apex out tomorrow night which uh Oda will be watching avidly ready to counter strat uh <laughs> we got uh the same on thursday another apex south super week and then saturday night we are doing our final play day for stage three of ocn and then playoffs believe it or not are just a week after that uh not even six days after that so uh very exciting uh to have playoffs coming up so shortly uh can we just get some uh predictions for playoffs real quick who we reckon is going to end up where just no brain just say it Bliss is going to win the whole thing. No, Chiefs. Chiefs go three peat. They they build their dynasty. <laughs> Chiefs three peat. Bliss will go I... two three in the grand final. Surprise! Bliss will going three, Knights. Uh, I I'm feeling Knights this stage. I don't know why. Nah. Nah. Bliss, nah, Bliss on, three zero grand final. Oh, listen. But who are you going to three zero? Even... <laughs> Chiefs. Jeez, yeah, it's got to be. You're not too even going to make it there. You're not even going to make it there, mate. You're going to get knocked out. You 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 you're in well, trouble I mean, here. I mean, it depends. I don't even know. Can Rhythm's Bliss coming for you, dude. Both make the grand final together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Knights would have to lose their next play day. Yeah, that's not yeah. happening. 
Knights so will be, be too busy getting their Vs versus Knights to the major, so they'll be out of it. Oh, wait, yeah, wait, who's Knights? Who's Knights rhythm. playing again? I have such a goldfish rhythm. memory. Rhythm. rhythm, rhythm. Yeah, now nah, they lose that. It's easy. <laughs> Toughest opponent <laughs> of the stage. <laughs> These honestly, days, yeah, point. honestly is. Uh, look, so Oda, um, I don't know if you get up to much other than playing in OCN scrimming and doing 3am dry runs with Todd, but if you do, where can people find you and keep track of all your stuff? Uh, Vin Oda on, t on Twitter. That's pretty much where I'm at. Oh, don't really stream or anything, so yeah, it's Vin Oda on Twitter. Cool. But and... uh, if, anyone want, if anyone wants to go and check out the most team uh -huh. .com .au, you uh -huh. can go to uh, shop, grab yourself some hot merch. You can type in uh, hashtag Oda sucks uh, for... <laughs> What? How much? How much? How much do they get off there, Ryder? What's the percentage? Oh, ten percent. Ten percent off. It's shipped. <laughs> <laughs> and they do mouse pads as well. I did forget to do the last giveaway. So get your hashtag Spruce was the problem in ASAP. We're gonna draw this and then we're gonna close the show. Um. Well, this is where we turn into the reroll. Yeah. It please, <laughs> not the reload. Please don't. I'm giving you guys another 10 seconds, all right? And then we're just going to draw this. So get in there early. We have 42 yeah, eligible users, so hopefully none of you are lurkers. Hopefully you're actually there. Get in there. Uh, so <clears throat> I personally have already purchased almost all of the new skins. <laughs> kind of Good. broke the bank there. Spent $30 on R6 credits the other day. Jeez, that's breaking your you bank. That's we breaking the bank. Discussion, mate. <laughs> mate, are you an SI have... caster or something? You should be rich. <laughs> Three times. Three times SI Spend caster. Spent all my money <laughs> on, uh, on the R6 credits. Mate, you can, I reckon after three SIs, you could retire. <laughs> what are you talking about, mate? <laughs> all right. Buy some go fours and some easy credits. <laughs> it's Jeff Keck. <laughs> Jeff Keck plays for... Um, bloody hell, I'm going to get the team wrong. Which, which OCL team does Jeff, Jeff Keck play for? Someone in Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just. It's, it's it Kraken. It's not Kraken, is pack, it? Pack Watch, I think. What's that? Sorry. Pack Pack Watch LFO or something. I think that's what they called. Did they recently rebrand? Uh, I think so. So he'll tell me in chat if he I'm is here. Wrong. If he's not here, then oh, there we no, go. We got the poggers. That's what I like. All right, Jeff Keck. Uh, please do make a Twitch whisper to Rainbow Six ANZ and tell me what CL team you play for because I've forgotten. And then tell me what platform you, you would like the credits for. And uh, that is <laughs> that is all for the show from tonight. We're going to have another ep next week. That'll be after Playday 7 is all wrapped up. Uh, hopefully it'll be with the player who's from the top of the standing, so probably not a Bliss player, probably a Knights player. I'll be back um, next week. <laughs> no. Can we? Hey, if, Get, if you do can win, we can we not? Can we lock? Oh no, we, we'll probably. Yeah, we can't have you twice. We gotta have Sprucey or something. I don't know if Sprucey. Get Repix in. He's yeah, probably too busy fishing. Oh, Repix. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, yeah, we, Manic, go at it. Yeah, let's go. Can let's we get a bit of beef about that. Bring one. in this Div Three <laughs> soccer player. Let's bring him in. Oh. <laughs> can we have your Can we have your word for it that if you guys end up first, you won't uh, book scrims for Monday night? We'll have to go through Todrick, mm. but uh, you know, you get Repix in if we come first. All right, cool. Got I like the sound of that. Fair All right, right. Manic Repix will snap your ankles, mate. Just. <laughs> I can't wait to land. Repix will snap you. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Repix looks like a twig that I snap walking over in the forest. I don't know what he's talking about. It's like he's put a bit of mud and got some feathers just as that little mustache that he's got. <laughs> it does look like a Bond villain, honestly. <laughs> no, no. It is the Incredibles uh, Italian villain. It's the Bomb Voyage. I'm telling you. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, we got two more apps of reload for stage three. That is it. Just next Monday when we're going to be chatting with, uh, <laughs> hopefully, Repix. And then the one after playoffs the following Monday. Then we'll take a break. We'll probably do another episode of reload around the time of season finals as well, maybe relegations. So make sure you guys Ooh, are watching APAC South on Tuesday and Thursday. But most importantly, come back on Saturday night. You can watch here on Rainbow Six ANZ. We also do M Wave giveaways. So M Wave are one of the sponsors for OCN. If you're in chat during the match, Australia's largest online tech there. retailer. Thank you, <laughs> Robert Monday. Uh, Thank so you, Rect CEO. <laughs> Get across that. Uh, anyhow, that's all from us for tonight. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you on Saturday. Get up. Oh, yeah.